guy. It's not like... Oh, isn't it? Alright, All right. Right. hello, hello internet. Doing this um, mm-hmm. We are back. Uh, we are down at a druid, which we will explain in game when we get to there. Um, six. So you guys are six. I don't know what your experience is. Oh, you know what? You guys did not get experience, get experience at the end of last game. At all. Um, which is what we wanted. True. Let me look up something. Oh, you know what? I've got it right here. Um, so, hello everyone. We're back for another uh, episode of our Tuesday D&D campaign. We will be continuing where we left off. We won't be undertaking, I guess, the... Com- Actually, we might. We'll see what happens. Uh, as far as the actual travel goes, because we know that Flint wants to head to Greymere Pass, because that's where the legendary uh, wandsmith slash follower of Mistra, Ollivander, is from, who will be able to fix his new Mistran uh, holy symbol to his shield. Mistran, that sounds painful. Yeah. Maybe we'll even I'm pick up a trace about Mister, his girlfriend. That painful. I mean, she calls me Mister, right? Maybe she, your girlfriend. Maybe she dropped Allison Alison Brie Tea Leaf. Allison Brie Tea Leaf. No. Yes, she. I haven't seen her around. No, no one has. Well, maybe, maybe all of them. Rub it in. Has. Oh, is that it? Oh, is that a? I haven't. Uh, did full I, stop. Did, did I, I did not read your. Uh, <laughs> I did not read your story. Oh, okay. That's I saw so you sent it, and I meant to read it, and I didn't. But I will get to it. Alright. Soon. That's no big deal. So, uh, oops, let's see. Experience, let me just do that calculation real quick. There was four of you last time. Three, make it 400 XP. You guys all got uh, for last time. Um, that was just for the fight with the snowball. Snowman, goblin guy. Mm. Let's see. Um, I want to do this. I'm trying to think about fun RP stuff that happened last time. We had our auction? No, no, I know. I just meant like to, to warrant anything that really stuck with me to warrant bonus experience for anything. Mm. Snowball army. Yeah, I'm giving you 150 for the snowball army. Yeah. Miss O'Leary being allowed to look through this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, if anything, you should get negative for spending gold you didn't have. <laughs> it worked out, but that's fine. Um, I still argue with Darren that Braxton would have been okay with the gems behind the curtains. Well, we'll never know. No, there was one that. rule! There because, was one rule! Because cash was only. Gem. Yes, but here's the thing. I gave him the idea. Braxton and I are pretty tight. And that's more gems than he would have gotten in gold total that I would have given him. Plus, we could have paid part in gold and then part in gems and be like, next time we swing through, we'll just buy the gems off you. If you have any left. Well, roll, and with no gems. I know. Spanrack doesn't really play by the rules. I can tell. I mean, he went into a circus. He went from limbo. I don't know what I mean. The magical vampire island. Of can we hear about the game pod. Limbo? At some point, and just be like convinced that he's just a, like a limbo master. That might come. That might come up. All right, great. <laughs> limbo, limbo, limbo. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, this is what his life is all about. Makes sense. That was my skill in the circus that I learned. <laughs> limbo. Fire hands to hold you up. <laughs> I was just, totally I down. Was <laughs> talking about limbo constantly. And they were like, this thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just yeah. back and walk, right? A stick. <laughs> um, Jaren yeah. is gold weight. Do you mean like? Um, we're gonna keep. The game rolling, but when you say gold weight, do you mean physical weight of gold, as in like carrying capacity? Because that's still a thing. Or do you mean gold weight as in something worth its weight in gold? Um, no, it's just uh, Braxton's a small town guy from a small like he has no use for gems. People don't trade in gems. The only person that would would be uh, yes, uh, one pound per one hundred gold pieces. Yes, that is still a thing if you track carrying capacity, which. I don't, unless it's absurd. Well, yeah, I'm carrying this bag of dumbbells and uh, these. I got a swole. Yeah, I'm gonna carry uh, three uh, lead safes, and uh, in case someone tries to rob me, a couple suits of plate mail. Yeah, then I might start being like, okay, you're encumbered now, I'm unless you're a dwarf. Yeah, my gorgon armor. 
Okay. Well, that's why we have buttercup and cheese. That's why we have buttercup and cheese. So, cheese uh, and buttercup. I think we ended just with you guys having fought the snowman. Yeah. Yeah. Out in the. the that I never want to build another one. Do you want to build a snowman? No. I'm sorry. No. It's really. Never... I built one and it tried to kill me. This has never happened before. <sighs> but I don't. It's okay. We don't need. We don't need to do it. Like if you if you have Thai food one time and then you get diarrhea and you just never want Thai food again. What's Thai food? Thai food is where they take uh, food and they tie it up oh, with ropes oh. and then they they roast it over a fire. That sounds okay. Uh, like a pendulum. <laughs> yeah, but if you had it for the first time and then you got really sick, you'd be like, I don't want that anymore. I got sick. So it's kind of like this with the snowman. We're fuck snowmen. I don't like them. Yeah, that would be cold. Um. All right, well, that's fun. Let's, right. let's let's smash him up a little bit, and then we'll leave. Will yeah, you be satisfied? I yeah, I just I just his arms are made out of wood. <coughs> if you'd hit it, it would have just chopped his arms right off. Do what? With your axe. Oh, that's true. His wooden arms. I oh, put a man. snowman in there, man. With well, wood. I don't know what a snowman does. We we put arms on it, made I out did. of wood. Man, you did that together. I forgot. I forgot. That's okay. That's all right. So we'll head back to town. Yeah, let's go, go back. Check, out on, check in on Ace. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't actually think it's been a day yet. Oh. I think you guys literally, like, were like, let's go build a snowman right now. <laughs> and, like, you just dropped her off. And you're like, you'd be effectively coming back, like, 20 minutes later. 20 minutes later. Be like, you not don't. even. Like, 12 seconds later. Like, hey, is it, you good yet? Is the thing, are you good? Are you done? You right. it? So... What do you guys feel like doing today? Just wait around for a day. Check in on Mrs. O'Leary. Check in, yeah. Something? That sounds like a good idea. See how she's doing? Oh! We got a catch on our rat tails! Yes! We never got the gold yes, for our rat did. tails! Where? Where is, uh... What's her name? Clyde? Clyde! Oh, she handed me this bag of rat tails! Did said, she? Bye! <laughs> what was she doing? I don't know. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, no. So she's just gone. I don't know. Huh? I found her walking through the woods, you know. Those druids are weird. Yeah. Druids. Um, what, kind of nature thing? Thing? what is nature? And a deer? It's always revolving around the limbo and turning into other things. And... So druids. if he knows what nature is, then he must live on the planet. Aliens. You people are all aliens. I don't know what that means. We do. Who's we? The Gazeri. What's that? I'm a Gith. There, my monk. Oh, I just thought you looked weird. I don't want to say anything. No, no, I have a gift. Me too. No, you're not. He's, he's an orc. He had an accident with his nose. I am not an orc. I what? can hear you. Why is he yellow? Does he have liver failure? Ah, uh, jaundice, definitely. His ears. His ears. <laughs> um, I can hear you. I leave. I'm not an orc. 14. <gasps> Did you get a 14? No, I got a 15. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave too. 17. I'm going to try and catch um, up. Do you guys, I, I wasn't here when you got the job. Do you know who to go talk to about Miss the... O'Leary, yeah. Definitely. No, no, it wasn't her. Yes, it was. I thought it was someone else who was offering the gold. Nope. All right. She loves me. Then. So let's go to... Well, Rick gave you the piece of paper. Right, but it was from Mrs. O'Leary. From Mrs. O'Leary. Hmm. But I thought... I feel like there was also... I feel like you had mess, You had mentioned something about there was an intermediary, I thought. We had, I thought there was an intermediary. Harold. You know what? Harold. Harold? Harold, Harold the guy who was like the town kind of handy master, fella. handy guy. All right. Also, sir, there is no town like leader. Like nobody's in really... There's not like a mayor. He just kind of... Being the handyman kind of go-to everyman guy, he just kind of has been... Like elevated to that role. Mm. Good for him. So, um, yeah, you guys, it's, I assume it was like middle of the day, it was like two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys can go to Harold, uh, and he will, she went to him first. Harold said, Rick, can you hang this up in your shop? Most people come through here. And he did that. So you have a piece of paper. And I didn't keep track of what I told you the gold was worth for the rat tails. Um, you said two silvers, two slivers. Two two silvers per rat tail? Per rat tail, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, you can go and uh, talk to Harold if you want. No, definitely. Well, have we ever met Harold? No, we have not met Harold. Okay. Um, He's so. a dwarf, right? We'll find out. I knock on the Harold's door. Okay, um, it is a 
you kind of come up on this fairly modest, smaller house. You know, there's bigger, the tavern's bigger, Rick's shop is more extravagant, even Braxton's place, a little bit more fancier. So says O'Leary's is more quaint and old. His is just simple stone building. Oh, I like stone. Well done. You know what that is now. Yeah. yeah. But but it's functional and it's hearty. And there's yeah. smoke uh, billowing out of the roof. And I did not think about Harold. Uh, so I wonder what Harold's going to be. Guys, I see smoke coming out of the chimney. There's probably a fire inside. We should go make sure everybody's You're alive. Set. All right. So, um... No, but- Okay, a dwarf answers the door. A, oh! a surly, older-looking dwarf. You would estimate two hundred. Okay. Older. Older. Um, kind of darker skin. Uh, his hair is kind of his beard's kind of graying. You can see, you know, this just split ends everywhere. Hair's a little, little crazy. You get the feeling that you probably just woke him up. Um, you know, and then as you, as you ah, I'll make me perception checks as you kind of look into his house over here. Fifteen. Thir- this is definitely 15. a house. Thirteen. What was yours? Fifteen. Uh, so you guys can both see, like, there's a big cushy chair that was pulled up in front of the fire, and, like, you can see, uh, there is, a, like, a mug that presumably was for holding a warm beverage. There's no more steam coming out of it, so he... Probably was just, uh, and just the look on his face and the way he is, he just seems like. So he's kind of wiping his eyes, and he, you know, it's the day. It's the day after Winter's Crest. Yeah, it's, it's like the day after a holiday on wow. a weekend. You guys, we're champs. We're we're up and we're up and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> down. Yeah, I mean, it is two in the afternoon. But so still. let's see. I gotta get an accent for Dwarvy man, because I'm so used to the other dwarf who's from. Somewhere else. Where were you guy from <coughs> the way? I think Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate, they don't have accents. Don't have accents. Baldur's Gate. Everybody kind of mashes up into one. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I guess. So uh hmm. Hmm. Gotta get a, yeah, this is, <coughs> I know. This is a little trickier than I had anticipated. Because I forgot you guys didn't meet him. Yeah. And in my brain I was like, Oh, he'll just be a human. It'll be fine. Sure. But now he's a dwarf. Now he's a dwarf. All right, uh, so I guess Scottish, I guess Irish, something. I don't fucking know. Um, hello. I'm going to say in Dwarvish. Sorry, did we wake you? I. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, we, you know, uh, we answered the the bounty to kill the rats in Mrs. O'Leary's place, and uh. Ah. Oh. You tell him, you tell him Tom is dead. Who? Tom. Who's Tom? Tom, her husband. Jim. Oh. He's Jim? Jim. I thought it was Jim. Jim. Well, Jim. 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 Yes. Jim. Jim O'Leary. Uh, dead? Dead. He's in dead. the basement. He must have fallen down the stairs. It looks like he broke his hip and then was unable to get back up. Tragedy. Tragedy indeed. He's a, he's a, he seemed like a nice guy from the stories I've heard. Yes. We never had the pleasure of meeting him. I'll back him. And he just looks... Just, you know, this he's the guy, he's in, kind of in charge of the town, he's the everyman, he knows everybody, and he's just, just sad, and, you know, he, again, wipes more sleep from his eyes, and, oh, yeah, well, you might as well come in. Oh, thank you. Ah, it's nice and toasty warm in the inside, um, and you can see, he kind of, like, walks over to, um, like, there's a bookshelf, and there's a, like, a, like a wooden box on there, and it's a coffers box, and it's fairly large, and it Excellent craftsmanship. And uh, he says, well, uh, how many rat sales did you end up getting? Uh, I've got 34. Total? Uh, no. Uh, how many did uh, Clyde have? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, well, you should count you should them, really I really ask Clyde from a magic device that Do might... I have permission? Yeah, right now you do. I'm Eight? giving you permission. You have 18? No, I don't have any. I have 34. Let me start calculating out. Uh, is it two silver each? Yeah. Oh. Who's caller? How many? You can't comment on it, though. What do you mean you can't comment on it? Just, like, make a nick out and comment, and this would make this go easier. Is she? Is it Clyde? Yeah. 32. Make it a 32. 32. 32. It, 32. Is she, did she just? Yeah. Nice. She's Thanks, Celine, Clyde. Celine, it's free. 
It takes two seconds. You can even pretend to be a robot. Just like don't. James did. Just if you pretend to be a robot, don't all the way pretend to be a robot. Yeah. What? Uh, uh, did you have robot. any? Yeah. Oh, what's up? Did you have any? No. I had. <clears throat> so he, you see him kind of, and he's like counting out coins, and he takes out a uh, hundred and twenty-eight silver pieces. Uh, okay. Ow. 64. That's, that's a lot of rats, man. A lot of rats. Some of them were big. Hands over yeah. these, the little pouch of 64 silver pieces and. 128 silver 128 pieces. 128 silver pieces, I'm sorry. So it was 64. Uh, not 64 gold pieces. Yeah. So. Can I help you gentlemen with anything else? Uh, yeah, was that? Yeah. Did you, I mean, we have Can a we help around town. Is there anything after the attack that you need help with? Quartermaster, do you have any work for us? Boys, it'd be the day after Winter's Crest. It, it'd be that. Be a day just, of rest, huh? Just sorry. enjoy yourselves. All right. Is I'm that... going to go back to my nap. Oh, sorry. What? what? Well, I was going to offer to magically heat up your coffee or whatever in that mug, but you said you're going back to bed, so I'll see you later. Yeah, I don't... I'm uh, more than capable of heating up my own no, it's beverage. No, just a... It's... Anyway. As a dwarf, I personally, yeah. most dwarves take pride in taking, doing things the hard way. Not, you know, the easy way. No wonder I think you're so... Fair. See you later. <laughs> and he opens the door and lets you guys out shut the door. <laughs> Yeah, it was a dick. I just don't want to heat up his coffee. It's all hard. Uh, what does that even mean? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're fucking dwarves, right? I, what does that mean? What Whoa, mean? yeah. Like, hey, Shit got buddy. real soon, man. What, you, what are you? I don't even understand what race you are. God damn yellow with the no nose is made for me for being dwarf. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, man. He must be, you know, Limbo must be, like, provincial. He's got his fucking hands tied together. Press the digitation? No, nope. oh, still yellow. Still yellow. <laughs> it was worth trying. That's right. Uh, so I'm gonna nap until tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, we'll hang out and go get some lunch. Yeah, I like lunch. Again. Yeah. Second Tony. lunch. Tony's around. Exactly. We'll um, eat and we'll drink. And I'll then say tomorrow in this we'll time, maybe you know, half an hour's passed. So. You know, I don't know if there's anything else. There's not much else in the town that you guys haven't visited already. Yeah. Um, other than there's like, you know, Rick is more magical stuff. There's the inn that's you also... Have any money. No, there's... Um, the nice inn? Where Tony works. Oh, Where there's... Guys isn't here. there the other there's, restaurant? There's a really nice restaurant. Let's that, go to the nice restaurant tonight. I don't, think, I don't know about it. I don't know if you guys can get in. But you don't know about it. We should go see if... They... Let's, uh, let's go get dressed up nice. Is there a tailor? Around? Is there somebody who can sell nice clothes? Were there nice clothes? We get, do we have our nice uh, new cloaks? Yeah, our, our clothes? I have vestments. Vestments? I have oh, vestments. What they're doing? Holy man. I'm a holy man. I have vestments. Okay. Um. Uh. I don't. I just got a hair shirt, and that's not really proper. Oh no! You should at least wear a tie with that. There's also like a general store as uh, well. Great. That just has like, for all intents and purposes, anything that's on the adventure. Yeah. Your tools cool. table. Yep. Um, and they are open currently. If you Let's if there's anything shipping. on there you would like to buy, um, everything's fair game that's on that list. And they take gems. No, they take gold. Fine clothes. Uh, Fifteen gold. It's pretty oh, expensive. All the gems in the world for dinner. Does like mean for lunch. I mean, Tony has also treated you very well, well as you know. All right. Well, we should, we should maybe, I just want to go check it out. Let's go, go like this. If they don't accept us, then they don't accept us. Sure. And you can always, you can always peek in the window too. You know, and just look and see what you see. Oh no, I want to try and get served. You want to try and get served, huh? Yeah. You might get served. I might get served right. if there's a dance off. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have proficiency in dance. Oh, well. I've got the chance. You know what? You missed out your chance mm. to learn how to dance from a real master. Oh, While you are yeah. off convoluting, I miss everything. Oh, my having fist. your 
Yeah. On my Triss. That's fine. I don't care. It's Triss. Okay. All right. So as you guys are walking past <laughs> yeah, make Tony's, comment, man. <laughs> uh, you guys can go ahead and make a perception check to see if you smell what's coming from Tony's place. Ooh, 19. Ah, shit. A one. Is Tony the rock? 17. Eight. Eight. 19. 17. Okay, you, uh, whatever it is, it smells delicious. Oh, it's good, man. Um, you guys smell, it does smell delicious. Um, you're not entirely, you kind of get a scent of chicken, but you're not entirely sure because everything tastes like chicken. But you definitely get the scent of cumin. Cumin. Hmm. I don't know what your character's preference is to cumin, but you definitely smell cumin. I absolutely smell cumin. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Tony's. I smell good, man. So you guys head to Tony's. Thank you for that able Clyde for subscribing. (laughs) (laughs) Sling, you're the best. Um, So uh, you guys get inside and you see there is... A several platters set out um, with various enchiladas and tacos and a uh, ton of them. And he sees you and Tony's like, Oi, hey, boys, why don't you guys come on in? Where's your, uh, your lady friend who Shh. eats bacon as a wolf? Which is really weird. Really weird. I don't know. Maybe it tastes better. Well, anyway, uh, she, went, uh, she went She went on a walk, I guess. Uh, all right, fair enough. Right, that's what she said. She just like kind of took off? Yeah, she, was, she opened up her new book of maps. And just started walking. Ah, she just read off into the forest. I really missed an opportunity to make Tony a Guido, but it's too late now. Mm. I mean, I feel like it was a nice bookend because I met her when she was wandering aimlessly through the forest, looking at a looking map. At she's a map. gone forever. And now she's—I don't know. No, I hope not. All right, now she was she was a good kid. I hope not. She really helped us get shit done with Rick. What if she found another wolf pack? Oh no! Don't, don't even say that. That's not it. Says Ted the DM, not Tony. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. So yeah, Tony. I'm... So what's for dinner, Tony? Tony? What is this spread you got here, man? Wow. He says, listen, I know this is a little weird, but and it's out of season, so I had to order this from the south. So this is imported, mm-hmm. okay? And don't turn your nose up till you try it. I got frog enchiladas. Tadpole tacos. Yeah. I would... Yeah. I'll take um, two, please. Of, of each. Okay. And he makes... He folds up enchilada and he... They're uh, hard taco shells, which is oh, impressive. Yeah. Given the time period yeah. to design that. So... How do you get the... Uh, how, does, how do you get it to stay, Tony? He says, you know, we've got... We just have these... Uh, we had this dwarf a while back craft us just these little like steel like, out of stone just rounded things and we set the, the bread on top of it and we just throw it in the oven really hot and it just whoop, pulls the moisture out of it. Taco. Hmm. Taco. That, that is a great name. Like yes, it was uh He is quite the man. One of Harold's six brothers. No, that. no. He's uh hmm. a great dwarf? Yes. I don't have a name for him. That's okay. Think of it right now. So anyway, he gives people. you two and two, well, and I don't know what you gentlemen wanted. Um, you guys want some presents? Sure. Yeah. I, take I got a thousand. Presents. Um, that's more than you did. Uh, I will have. You know, we'll try. We'll try. I'm not so sure about the tacos. It looks too hard to eat. Uh. You just turn your face sideways. You keep it up and turn your face sideways. Oh, it's not like this. No, you turn your. Okay. You All right. Can sideways. I get like? Four tacos and an enchilada, then? Yes. Oh, All right. Folds them up, gives them to you. A couple frog legs, Tony. Oh, okay. That's not what we're offering, but you are learning that you are a pain in the ass. So he's like, fine. And he makes, like, literally two frog legs and says, here. Tony, another drink, please. <laughs> well, I know he's going to pay for that. You hear him mutter to himself <laughs> as he pours a drink and he hands you the drink. All right, make it a double. He takes it back. <laughs> more in a cup. No, I meant two. Ah, for everybody. Oh, thanks, Red Mac. Hey, Red Mac Bag. Do you have any money? <laughs> Do he, you? He, he pours the drinks and he gives you guys the drinks. Doubles. 
you know, is that you guys are good for it, considering he knows where you live. Cause Thanks, Donnie. Because stairs in his tavern. <laughs> so, throw some Twizzlers this way. All right. All right. So, uh, they're good, though, right? It's delicious. They're actually... You wouldn't think so, because being adventurers, you traveled, you've seen frogs and tadpoles, and you wouldn't think, like, this would taste very good. Tastes amazing. Just, you know, there's a little crisp golden brown on the outside of the frog meat, and even the tadpole meat, and it just... You wouldn't expect it to have a little bit of crunch, but the mix the taco crunch mixed mm. with the seared outside of the frogs, just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Ooh, phenomenal. It is. Well, as he sees you guys eating this, crunch. and you know, and he can just see a look of uh, just joy on your face as you eat this. He says, crunch. "Yeah, guys, you know it's it's pretty hard to get these." Got to have them imported from down south. Yeah, obviously. I don't know if you're familiar, <laughs> um, but uh, it's from Flavortown. Flavortown? I had to send... I heard that's where we were going. I had to send a one one of my best assistants on a one-way ticket there to get this for me. How did he get it back then, if it was a one-way ticket to Flavortown? He went there. Yeah. And imported it back to me through Travelers on the Road, much like yourselves. Oh, okay. Do caravan business. So you're saying we can go to Flavortown and then come back? You can. All right. Well, I had to take me to Flavortown. What if we don't want to leave Flavortown ever again? We'll just stay in if Flavortown. Like this, then I he says, I know you guys aren't from Flavortown, but if you ended up staying there, everybody would understand. And there's a term they have for that because of the mayor of Flavortown coined this term because people just come and they want to stay. Yeah. He says that if you come in, you never leave. Well, that is a win for Flavor Town. That is a win. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, Wait, do they have chicken dinners? It's Flavor Town. Oh, sorry. This sounds pretty great. I think maybe we should do a little more adventuring and then and settle then down. Flavor Town? Settle down in Flavor Town. All right. Because that rhymes. I'm down. All right, great. Settle down in Flavor Town? Settle down in Flavor Town. Or Limbo. But probably Flavor Town. Probably not Limbo. That sounds like a terrible island. Oh, yeah. We can take Flavor Town to Limbo. In my ship. I nah. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, I agree with him. It's possible. Nah. Nah. He go, Tony goes, you know what? He goes, I, obviously, it sounds like you gentlemen aren't heading to Flavortown anytime not soon. Not soon, no. Uh, but if you guys ever find yourselves in mm-hmm. Flavortown, uh, yes, just let me know via any means necessary. All right. There are ingredients for things that I would love to cook that I just have no way. How about you give us a list of like the base ingredients that you want now, and if we ever happen by, we'll make sure, and if we're heading there, we'll see if there's anything specific you want. Okay, he says, you know what, I will I will write that up while you guys enjoy your meal. All right. I'm gonna keep an eye on everybody else here. If you need anything else, let me know, and I'm gonna, you see him kind of go and sit down, kind of like pulls a stool up behind the bar, and he pulls out a scroll parchment, and smooths it out, and he, Starts scrawling stuff down on this parking. So what's um what's our overall plan, guys? Um, like we're waiting for the map. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow, but like. Ollivanders, right? What's our? I mean, I would love to go to Ollivanders, but it's like months away, and I don't know if you guys have shit to do in the area. Um, you know, I'd like to go check in with the, uh, you know, the Church of Illmater at Waterdeep or anywhere where there is a chill church. Uh, see if there's anything going on. As, you know, I was saving up for, you know, donations and stuff, but uh, we kind of blew all our money. Um, That's true. So, you know. So you guys I, do have those dragon scales? Yeah, we have some dragon scales that and we could go the to. Dragon, you're going to turn into a... Oh, shit! Armor. I forgot about that! Yeah, the green dragon, Venom Fang, that you slayed in uh, Thunder Tree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. remember that. that. They, I said you had to go to Neverwinter. Neverwinter, that? indeed. Neverwinter. Is that near so, Olabanda? They're both north, right? They are both north. Neverwinter would be... It'd be on your way there. I, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's like... You know, Not you're out here in like Red Larch and Phandalin's like over here, over the mountains. Um, like, Water's Deep is here, Neverwinter is here, and then like Greymere's like up here. Okay. So like... You know, you could go straight shot and probably get there faster, but if you stay on the, the road, it'll be a more traveled way, and then eventually you'll get to stop in Neverwinter. And then, you know, 
get to see what it's like and commission it. I don't know if you guys are yeah. familiar, if you guys have been there or just know of it. Oh, I've, I've never been there. I don't know, so I'm asking. Uh, as I the DM, I don't know. It's not in limbo? No. Oh. It's a city. What? I limbo, it can't be a city in a city. Can't be a city city. Well, you said we could bring Flavortown to limbo. I'm just trying to figure out how this works. Yeah, but Neverwinter is like really big. It is Flavortown like big? Completely different um, from existence. You don't know. What does that mean? You've never been. And neither has Tony. Dwarves He's only ordered things dwarves. from there. Because if he goes, he'll probably yeah. want to stay. Uh, that that asshole Clyde or that a hole Clyde says, "What's limbo?" So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That a hole Clyde on, on Twitch says, "What's limbo?" You wouldn't understand. <laughs> so, um, if you guys are uh, all done with dinner and whatnot, um, Tony is still there, just uh, doing whatever. He's you know he's finished. You know, you see, he's kind of put the the quill down, and he's kind of he's kind of scratching his head, thinking about it. He pours himself. A little drink from behind the bar. You got ginseng on that list? Writes down ginseng. Ginseng. Because that comes from uh, that other area that I forgot the the oriental inspired area of the D and D world, which I don't remember what it's called. I don't either. No idea. So, no. so, so Tony. Yes. We uh, we we were down at Braxton's. No. Got a couple storage units. Got a lot of extra stuff in them. Like what? It, well, we got a lot of stuff. A lot of, a lot of nice stuff. And, uh, well, you've been so good to us. This, this in here, you know, could possibly use some refurnishing and whatnot. You're not wrong. If, if, you, if you need anything, you want to go take a look down there. You know, Miss O'Leary took some stuff, but she left a lot of good stuff. Uh, just let Braxton know that Ranrak Rag uh, sent you down there, and he'll hook you up nicely. Look at you, man. Okay. He said, yeah, uh, Bob, I will probably take you up on that. I remember that there were some bookshelves and some saw. wardrobes. I don't know if you want to... Yeah, anything you want. Um, all right, well, yeah. You know, it's just going to sit there. Right. Right. It's ours, but we don't really... Basically, if we can't get rid of it by tomorrow, I think we're just going to make a big burn pile. I thought we were going to leave it out for free, but, I mean, whatever. One of the two. I thought you also talked about taking it to the temple. Church. Yeah, we can take it to the temple. Too. The books. You were going to take the oh, books. We'll definitely get Tony first dibs on that stuff. Okay. okay. So he says, yeah, I'll probably, um, I'm not going to go out there tonight, but I'll take a look All right. tomorrow. See what's up. Cool. Because uh, yeah. sometime we're going to have to clean it out. Yeah. we got months to do that, though. No big rush. Five months. Five months. Who's gonna and he says, could I, in the meantime, before we close out this night, the next hour or so, the bar is dead, there's nobody in there, it's just you guys, and you know, you're, at this point, is only customers who are either buying food, and as far as you know, the only customers are actually staying at the inn right now, mm -hmm. because Red Larch is a small town, most people, you know, they're either in or they're out, like, they're, most people don't extend and stay here. Uh, that's a warning. Giving you a warning for the phone. Came up with a rule. You didn't tell them about the rule. I didn't tell you guys about. It. I'll get. I'll let that one slide because I told you about yeah. the rule. Rule is: phone goes off first time. Warning. Okay. Each subsequent time is a cumulative negative one on all rolls. Oh. That I get to choose when I apply it to you. Okie dokie. So, uh, like, you could be like, I hit that guy, and I'll be like, or I rolled a ten on my death saving throw. <laughs> nope. That's a failure. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, when it hits five, then something real bad will happen. Or you could seek penance, and then uh, then you'll get it cleared. All right. Uh, would you kind of interest you, gentlemen, in a uh, game of dice? And he pulls out a cup with some dice. Would you be interested at all? I, I think I could be persuaded to dice. I don't know how to dice. Never diced before. I think you'll be great at it. And he kind of like winks at you, and he's like, I think you'll be great. It seems like the kind of thing you'd be great at. I think so. I think you guys are pulling my leg. What do you mean? I'll make a perception check. Insight check. Insight, Insight check. check. Against Flint's deception. Oh, oh shit. You better be in a 19. I did not be in a 19. I got that's a just 17. A, ah, that's my You just, feel like he might be trying to pull something over on you. 
pull, try to pull the wool out of my my hair shirt. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do? Does that sound like something I would do? It might over dice. Does it sound like I would want to touch your hair shirt? No, but that's an expression. It is. I've never heard it. Oh yeah, it, it's an ill made thing. Ill, it, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't. I don't know. Oh. Well, it means uh, I, it means that I think that you're lying to me in oh, order to uh, gain money from me, well, which is cool. But we'll try. Yeah. We'll try. <laughs> I'm in. I was gonna say like I don't know. It's like we're a team. Money's the money's, money's our money's. money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying. I saw I that week. Do you not have the dice? Oh, okay. They have dice in limbo. Limbo dice. Uh, all right, so I will give you gentlemen, if you would like the opportunity, to roll on the carousing table. Carousing! All right. For your carousing. reference, if you haven't rolled, you can. You have to put in. Uh, my lifestyle, right? Uh, so two gold to get in. All right. However, there is an opportunity that you will make money back. You will lose money. You will make a significant sum of money. Or other things can happen, which are sometimes less than great. Okay. Oh, down to carouse. Something. Something like. More swine related. Or 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 jail related, or other things. Whirlwind romance related. I like carousing. Okay. All right. So it um, is percentile dice plus your level. Huh. One percentile dice. Fifty one. Two, two, yeah, both yeah, dice. Uh, both, bro, I mean, both percentile. This one, uh, so and then add, so. what did you say, 51? 51. Okay. Ah, uh, eight. With your level of six? Oh, nine, sorry. Okay. Which one comes first? The double numbers. 36. Plus six. Plus six. 42. 42. Thanks, guys. Okay. Um, it's almost like I can't read or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Almost like that. <laughs> you guys made myself sad. Uh, at the end of the gambling round uh, for the night, come out. You made your money back. You, lose any, you don't lose any money. Break right. it. And you had a nine. I had a nine. So in your 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 eating and you're making a mess and uh, you know. You're just having fun, carousing, and drinking, <laughs> and one time you make a roll and the roll is crap, and you're just like, ah, and you're angry, and you smash, and you actually break oh. Tony's bar uh, in half. Wow. And he's Fair like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> he's like, I like you guys, but I gotta bring Harold in on this one. So go ahead and roll. <laughs> Mending? Go ahead and roll me a d4 then, Jake. <gasps> oh. Four. That sounds like the worst. That is the worst. <laughs> uh, Harold comes in having just met you guys, just given you guys money, having been woke up from his second nap today, walked out in the cold, and he's like, oh, I knew you boys would be trouble once I... Soon as you walked into my house. It was an accident. Ah, you woke me up from my nap twice today. Accidentally. This wasn't. I mean, I didn't. Right, I'm done, done talking. I would. Anyway. I'm sorry, but yeah. you're you're gonna have to come with me. And uh, he, can we settle this outside, he, like monetarily? He takes him and he claps you in iron. <sighs> All right. And takes no, no, you no, 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 no. Takes go to you jail. to the That's jail fair. where you will be jailed for four days time. Sorry, guys. To think about what you've done. I'm going to visit him twice. <laughs> in um, four days? In four days. Once on the first day and then once uh, on the third day. As soon as he gets you outside, he says, oh, It's fucking cold outside. It is cold outside. <sighs> Look, man, I mean, this was this was an accident. I, I think uh, I know quite the uh, woods craftsman. Maybe... Could get him to come here and not only fix uh, Tony's table, but uh, maybe, you know, do, do any sort of handiwork you have around the town. He's pretty incredible. I don't... Come on, man. I mean, it's not a big problem. I'll give you my word. I I'm Ill Mater's word. I, I tell you, <clears throat> just give me ten gold. I Deal. I make this all go away, no paperwork. 
He unclaps the irons. You lose 10 I'll, I'll take those 26 silvers out of there and give them the... And then he looks at it and he shakes his head and you hear him mumbling as he walks like, fucking paying away with my own gold. Fucking <laughs> 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 He just walks off. Uh, You're back! Hey, guys. Hey, Tony. Sorry about that, man. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think it's I, my new gauntlets. I think you should go to bed, Theron. I think it's bedtime. Yeah? Yeah. A couple more drinks? You... Bed? Bed. I Got it. Bed. Okay, Tony. bedtime. <laughs> He's not partaking of drink right now. He's, uh... uh let's see what I can do, Tony. Medic. <laughs> Spirit <Okay>. Guardians. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, wrong spell. Wrong spell. Oh, God. Uh, all right, so the bar is cracked in half. It's a wooden bar. Read me what mending does. Mending. Okay. Um, this... Spell repairs a single brick or tear in an object you touch, such as a broken chain link, two halves of a broken key, a torn cloak, leaking wineskin. As long as the brick or tear is less than is in this dimension, <laughs> you mend it. Keep reading. Leaving no trace of the formal damage. Yeah, how about the real description? Oh, oh I, I misread it. Oh, I see. If, if the break or tear is no longer mm -hmm. than one foot in any dimension, oh, I see. you can mend it, leaving no trace of the former damage. I will say that you could mend this, but you will have to mend it all night. You will not get any sleep. You will not get the benefits of a long rest, but you can mend this. I'm asleep. I will assist. Just hang out. What did I do last night? I don't think I did anything. Well, you fought the snowman. Yeah, I took seven damage, but I don't think I used any of my actual spells. I don't know. You should totally do it. I'll do it! Okay. Let's stay up all night. Tony, this is... I'm... I'm so sorry. Third's like that's the most out of hand I've ever seen him. And I've known him for like upwards of a week and a half. Maybe two. Maybe even two. So I'm sorry. I I'll take care of this. I'll take care of this. You go to bed. This will be fixed in the morning. He seems like he doesn't believe it, but he knows that you guys have been good to him so far, and he seems that you are, uh, you know. You seem fairly, uh, yeah. Handsome. Handsome, I guess, yeah. No, he's <laughs> trustworthy. So he will, uh, he'll, he'll let you, uh, you know. Alright. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna give you this, too, by the way. Uh, for rolling with it. You were ready to spend a four days in jail. You were ready to do, every, suffer through it and endure. And, I mean, you uh, get arrested, what are you going to do? Yeah, you could have resisted. <laughs> nah. Mm -hmm. Not a very big town. Nope. And Doesn't you sound like Theron. Doesn't sound like Theron. And uh, for most of the people in the town, you people, you guys would just destroy them. If they somehow got Rick and Axe on their side, you guys might have been in trouble. I feel like if we started slaughtering innocents, Rick and Axe would be on their side. Yeah, and you guys would probably... Whoa, 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 I made my life here... Bam, 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 dead. <laughs> Ow. Disintegrate. Yeah. What a bad idea this was. <laughs> this is terrible. Mass suggestion. Kill each other. Oh. Out of the town. Like, walk out of the town and then kill each other. Walk out of the I town mean, while killing each other. Yeah. Over the weekend, I cast suggestion on a oh. party. There's a group of invent like guys. There were, there were highwaymen. They were holding up the bridge. They were going to kill us. And one had a crossbow. And I was like, ah, oh, cool. Suggestion. Kill your friends. And the DM was like, cool, he walks away, because these guys aren't his friends, and we're like, co oh, you're fucking But <laughs> so he did just, like, leave the battle. Well, that's good, at least. Yeah. Then he ended he's up going to kill Dave. His neighbor. Oh, man. And then one of the characters was like, oh, why are you going to kill your neighbor Dave? And he was like, because he's my friend, because he never shovels his driveway when it snows. Like, it doesn't snow a lot, but that's his responsibility. And it's then, the principle of the thing. It's the principle of the thing. Hey, Dave! And then as he's leaving... 
Like, I don't know, like two turns later, the guy yells out again, like he's <laughs> singing, all right, gonna go home, gonna kill Dave, not gonna fuck my wife anymore. And then the guy was like, wait, what? He also had sex with your wife? Like, how is that not your primary complaint about the guy? I don't like to air my dirty laundry out. <laughs> it's like a whole thing. And then I was like, suggestions of concentration spell. So the battle was over, and I was like, oh, he's probably like halfway home. I break concentration. Like, I, I give up the spell. He doesn't want to kill Dave anymore. He was like, nope, you put the idea in his head. He's <laughs> well, he was sleeping with his wife. Yeah, so. he's the wife. Maybe you shouldn't have fucked Dave's wife. Or, I don't know this guy's name. Dave shouldn't have fucked another man's wife. True. Not done that. All right, so um, you stay up all night. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You you, uh, manage to fix it, and it's... uh, Alright, you're good. Uh, You manage to completely mend the broken bar. (laughs) I thought you were going to say mangled. No, no, no. You mend it. It took all a lot of your energy, ceaseless magical energy, uh, constantly, every minute, applying more magical energy to it, and you manage to fix it. Uh, and it is now, like, 8 a.m. the next morning. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I need a coffee. Oh, I need a coffee. And another coffee. And another coffee. And I would like a bowl. I'm talking to myself. A, a bowl. bowl. With some potatoes that are fried, and on top of that, some eggs and sausage and brown oh. gravy. And a big spoon to eat it all. Let's what happened all. last night? You got drunk and punched through the bar. <laughs> Oh no no he didn't get put in jail, he bought his way out right outside for ten gold. The guy was like he was gonna throw him in jail, so he had either the options to serve his time, pay him up front, or resist arrest. I see. He chose to pay instead. Yeah, certainly not gonna resist arrest. I mean, did break that thing. Um, I feel really sick. Yeah, you look really sick. That's because I'm kind of upset. I, what happened? You got drunk and punched through. The bar. Like, you cracked the bar in half. Looks fine. Yeah, I fixed it all night. Wow. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, seriously, like, control your liquor, man. I can't. Like, obviously. You should just not carouse so much. I guess, man. You gotta... What did you, do? What did you, what did you just part him? What did you just give him? Bit of the hair shirt that bit you. What does that even mean? Can I, wait, do hair shirts bite? Yes. Yeah. It's constantly biting. You know how, like, you have hair on your chest? Yeah. It, like, intertwines, and then you, like, move a little bit, and it just, like, rips them out, and it gets bigger. Ooh. Yeah. You endure that all the time? All the time. Wow, you're insanely jovial for a guy who deals with that shit all the time. Well, I don't know, man. I guess you're you're enduring really well. So I I take back everything I said negative about you. Tony, I've heard that I destroyed your bar a little. He stumbles out, you know, from behind uh, the back of the kitchen, and he... I'm sorry. Press the digitation. Sorry. He was impressed uh, about the fact that the bar is fixed. I mean, was. I mean, but then he puked all over it. I'll clean that up, too. Is it the, so the is last, it, like, six hours... It, I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking anymore. No, 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 I'm not drinking anymore. Press the digitation, clean up the alcohol in the cup. <laughs> and he says, uh... I feel so much better. Now. He says, I like you. I like you too, Tony. You're all right. I mean, you're okay. Sorry. You're all right. Tony. This doesn't usually happen. Cause... You don't want to keep pouring him drinks, so watch it. Tony. Uh, so I have a weird specific request. I don't know if you if you have. I just like take like potatoes chopped up and fried real quick in some kind of uh, fat, and then Baker like an egg on top with some sausage and some brown gravy. Does that sound like a thing you can make me? Yeah, I'll be right back. I was what two two. Sell my Fine. stomach. Fine. Yeah. Dude, if you th- if I have to press t- I, if I'm gonna throw up. I'm sorry. I just couldn't I stand up. I'm never. This is the drunkest I think I've ever been. If I have to press the tinger tape more of your, I you won't. Puke. I'll go outside. I'll wait outside for breakfast. I'm gonna get up and go outside. Okay. Sorry. So he. Uh, the cold air probably feels. He good. goes in and you hear like a. You hear like a. And then you hear like the. I get chills. And you can hear the potatoes in the fryer, and then you hear. 
coming out, and then you hear like the crackle and sizzle of bacon, and then uh, you hear like a of an egg cracking. You hear that twice, and then uh, three times. A lady. And then uh, you know Tony comes out with two of the things. He gives one to you or two to you, yeah. and then he's like, "This sounded really good," and he just starts eating it because you didn't ask for anything. Right. He doesn't. No. All right, uh, Theron. Mm. Get your food. Ah, great. I'm gonna there take it go. outside. Just cause I'm just gross. Yeah, it's true. Feel bad about it now. It's delicious. And it's uh, it, It's very. Good. It it's good. very good. It, it, it nullifies uh, the remainder of the hangover. Ah, great. I feel so much better. Could you have uh. used five uses of or five HP of lay on hands to cure your hangover? <laughs> Maybe I, I would. I, I would endure <laughs> through that though. I would allow it. What happens if I come across like a person with a real disease during that time, though? I'd feel pretty bad if I was at a lay on hands. Because I was like, man, I don't feel like being hungover this Again, morning. If I was a paladin with lay on hands in real life, I would have used it on every angle. <laughs> like, come on, guys, let's like, get going. All right, I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Woo! Uh, Sounds like... Greater, uh, lesser, and greater restoration. Lesser restoration will also cure a hangover. I will allow greater restoration to remove the negative effects of getting drunk, but you still keep the buzz. Ooh, that's fancy. It's also I gotta learn that shit. Fourth or fifth level spell, but if you're it burning does. it. Yeah. Uh, and that a-hole Clyde says bacon. One bucket, please. She doesn't get one. She's not Sorry. around. Uh, all right, so it's the next morning. Um, the town, it's still brisk, and, 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 you know, you still when you walk outside, you can still see your breath of snow. Hasn't left. It actually snowed a little bit overnight. Um, snow bath. So. You ever take a snow bath? They're the worst. Oh. Uh, you just strip down to your skivvies, and you cover yourself in snow. Do you take your shirt off of that? Yeah. Oh. And you put it back on after. Ooh. That's all, that part's all terrible. Well... That's what I'm doing. Oh, I don't. All right. Go to Rick's. Uh, okay. Roll around in the snow. Oh. Get dressed. Oh. So, uh, I put on plate mail, man. Yeah, I need I to know. bathe. I know. I just like, sounds like a difficult thing to endure. It's cold. It's cold. It looks cold. Yeah. So you, uh, you guys, head, you head over to Rick's. Head over to Rick's. Uh, you know, they open the door. Bring the bells ring. Is Chumley there? Shop. Chumley's there. Oh, it's Chumley. He waves back. Nice. He's, he's, Chumley uh, waved to me. He's be, uh, behind the counter, you know, just milling about, doing his thing, and you see, um, kind of in, uh, dressed down now, like you had when you'd seen, uh, Ace in the previous time, she was wearing, um, adventuring clothes, because Stone Lady. Uh, but now she's wearing, like, a just more, um, just more, like, casual breeches and, you know, leather cuff rolled boots, and just, like, a fairly loose, like, it's a, like, there's a flowy blouse shirt, but it's still a little form-fitting, and her hair's kind of, like, twirled up in a bun with like a pencil through it she's got her glasses out and she's sitting at the net like on one of the counters just flipping through the book um and uh yeah so she's there and then rick sees you guys coming he comes out and waves to you all and you know wishes you good morning asks how everything's going Uh, and she kind of like she's got like you know she's got the pencil kind of in the hair and she's kind of got one in her ear as well and then, like, she's chewing mouth. on one, and then, like, she kind of, like, looks up at you guys and kind of, like, waves and continues to go pouring over the map. Um, so Rick says, yeah, what can I uh, do for you gentlemen? Oh, we're just stopping by. You said the uh, map would be done. Uh, uh, today. Yeah. Uh, well, there might be. Yeah, Clyde is, or Clyde, uh, Ace is clearly, uh, she's been hard at work almost ceaselessly. Mm-hmm. And, like, she's, like, she seems to just not be, like taking in any of this. She, she has three pencils on I'm gonna, her face. I'm going to stand, like, right over her shoulder and just, like, nod and look at this stuff. And she, like, you see, like, she continues for a little while, like, her, her hand, like, pauses, and then, like, she continues much slower, and then, like, she stops, puts the pencil down, and then, like, is like, can I help you? Uh, no, I was just watching. Oh. Okay. Okay. Picks back up the pencil and like, kind of like her shoulders kind of tense up a little bit and she continues to work, but like she's clearly not as relaxed as she was a few minutes ago. Um, so yeah, Rick says, how was, uh, how was your locker? Did you get anything good in your locker? Yeah. I got some rings. Oh, that's right. We talked about those. Yeah, we talked about the rings. Mine's weird. Yeah. 
I got offered insurance. I'm not really sure what mine does. I don't really know what mine does. Alright, I don't know what it does either. Except for the insurance salesman. Yeah, the insurance salesman. Well, yeah, that was All right. Did you get anything good on yours? I oh, the book! Did you yeah. figure out what that book was? I did, actually. I it know. is, uh... Let me tell you what it is. If I did this, it would shoot it in the air like it did the other day in barrel. Ah. Uh, I figured, oh, this is the best place to shoot a hole. In the roof. In the roof. Good call. Oh, it's, uh, you uh, shoot anybody else. No. Man. Turns out... You could bench it, so... Uh, it was... Uh, Compendium of, uh, Zygag. The Zygag Compendium? Yes. I don't know what Zygag is. Uh, well, he was an ancient, uh, he was renowned everywhere, uh, and he was known for traveling the world and, uh, looking up monsters and, and plants and all sorts of flora and fauna, fantastical beasts and monsters and things, and writing compendium, outlining, uh, all sorts of interesting facts about them where they can be found, weaknesses, breeding habits, all sorts of things. Sure. And this was thought to have been lost. And oh. apparently I have the only one in existence now. <laughs> so it was lost in a locker in Red Large. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Did strange <laughs> things come up in those lockers? That's cool. I don't even know who owned it. You should just like go around and see if people have defunct lockers and start collecting. Well, now it's a part of my business now, for sure. Yeah. I mean, anywhere you go, you just bring extra money. That's what we should do. But the, the battling for those storages. Those storage battles. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, it definitely... I haven't tested it out because I, uh, I don't adventure anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but this is like a very rare tome, and I like having it as part of my collection. It's a great conversation piece, and especially for drawing in new buyers to say that I have something like this. Even if I won't, if I'm not willing to part with it, it'll at least get people in the door, and hopefully they'll buy something else. What if I can get you a second one? I don't know. I mean, there's only one, so I don't know how that even be possible. <laughs> what if I can get you a second copy of it? I have to see it to believe it. Yeah, right, that's right. We can't just like be bros talk about this hypothetically. I mean, you're talking about a hypothetical thing that until yesterday I didn't even know was real. Yeah, just like a fun little thought experiment. I walk in here, I got a second copy. I'm like, hey buddy, here's a second copy. Is there a more valuable book that you might? I, I don't know, but I would imagine as. Someone who adventures, this would be, if you happen to somehow have a second copy of it, you'd most likely want to utilize it to help you. Ourselves. Rather Could than, be useful. And, and, and if you somehow magically found a second one, which is impossible, um, maybe don't tell anybody that you have it. And mine's the only one, it's worth more. Well, that's fair. I'd do that for you. If I had this. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, cool, I'm gonna go talk to Ace about the map. Okay. Hey, Ace! And she kind of, like, looks up, and she's like, hello, and she's, you know, still, you see, like, you know, you what you saw was her working on, like, one piece of paper, and then as you get closer, you notice there's, like, like, a stack like this of just, like, with all sorts of various scribbles and scrawls and, like, symbols that you can't understand, like, and, like, almost, like, which, actually, make me an intelligence check. Eee. Genius. Ooh, roll the 19. <clears throat> so, um, uh, 19. Okay. <laughs> uh, you don't know what it is, but you recognize one of the sheets of paper as a cipher. Oh, okay. So, like, she's trying, it's, it's, she wrote this out herself to decipher <coughs> whatever, um, you know, thing, some of the secrets on this map. And then you actually see that the piece of paper that she's writing on now is actually not a, a piece of parchment, it's actually a scroll of parchment. And when you look a little closer, you can actually see that it's curled around probably like 15 times. Oh, shit. So it's like... Long ass piece of parchment. And she's like working feverishly at this. So you know she's doing, she's working at it. But uh, she's like, this is one of the most complex maps I've ever seen. It's written in, from what I can tell, at least six different languages. Oh. Uh, and I, I have never 
seen anything like this. Okay. So I mean, the the person in charge of this clearly this map is enchanted or this book is enchanted. Okay. The book itself has no value. Um, there's nothing of use inside the book at all. Yeah, just the map. But the cover of the book, the spine of it itself, is magical. You saw the other day when I pushed that spine, there was yeah, some sort of enchantment yeah. on there, and it caused the actual book to change shape, therefore completely setting up in another cipher that whoever built this book does not want, you know, for whatever reason, does not want this area to be found, this now dungeon told, to be now found. Now I totally want to find that dungeon. Yeah. It's, I can't even, I can't, like I said, I can't even get you a name. All I can get you is it's a dungeon, and I can get you that it's nowhere in any place. What I've found so far, it's no, I have no idea where it is. So this, I can see that you're working on this monster parchment. Yeah. Is this side the side you've done, or the side you have to do? Uh, no, that's what I've done already. Oh, wow. Getting some work done, eh? High five. Also, you have three pencils on your face. Yeah, I need all three of them. Oh, my bad. Just trying to help. Yeah, no, this is important. Right. Um, it's part of my so, method. So, what I'm guessing is it's going to take you some time. I really wish I could give you a time frame. But, I, I mean, I could start you, I could get you something, start you going somewhere, and maybe... You guys can find something on the way and maybe help me. Like if I set, I've got a little bit here based off of take what where we got. are in Red Larch. It's north. I got north. Step one. Uh, maybe if I send you, I don't know. So let me see. And she starts like flipping through papers and it's like, you know, unrolling the scroll and looking and like, starts flipping through more papers. She's like, I don't know. There's, I, she's got like six papers strewn out in front of her and the scroll like halfway rolled this way and like in the middle. And she's like pointing at the back, like she's got the map and she's pointing at it and she's like, so best I can tell, we're like over here. And there's a mountain that's like right here-ish. Okay. And it's significant in some way. Okay. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. But it shows up on at least four or five of the different things that I found. This particular mountain. Maybe there's something there that can help me. Maybe there's a rune. Maybe there's a note. Maybe there's a house, a old man, a guru. I don't know. But that, on that, mountain? that mountain keeps coming up okay. in, in the research. And I mean, like, I've got us maybe the first half of the spine, but I don't, like, the, your end destination's over here. I don't have any of this. Okay. I've got this, though. All right. Okay. But this mountain keeps coming up. Right. Okay. What is the proximity of that mountain to here? Ah. Uh, Base again, it's hard to tell because it's you know map, mountains yeah. and things like that. But I would say, based on from what I can understand, maybe like a day, two days ride to oh, the top okay. of the mountain. Not not too far. Not right. too bad. We can do it. Let's go to the mountain. All right. Definitely. I mean, it's up to you. You can keep waiting. Amazing. Yeah, I'm going you don't seem very enthusiastic about it, so... Um, there's a guy I want to meet in Greymire. I was hoping our, the paths would intersect. I mean, it's not like nothing you could do about it. No. I was just... And it was a silly hope that this random map that I found would require me to go meet the guy I want to meet. It's, it was a silly scene. Long time. I don't even know why. It would be why. useful, but... Yeah, I mean, that would be insane providence, where it was like, hey, we found this random map that you want. Also, go talk to Ollivander about the map, too. Oh, man. He's the guy I want to meet. Sure. A legendary wandsmith. Yeah. He, knows, he knows about Mistra. And she is the bomb. So. She's okay. Yeah, definitely. Tick, tick, boom. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, and she kind of like pulls out another piece of parchment kind of like, like, with the speed that shouldn't be possible. Uh, this, like, she just basically has the pencil and is like, kind of like does one of these and like, a fully fledged out map from here to that where she assumes the mountain is, like, appears on the paper. Shit! And she's like, this is the best I can do. That's better than I can do. 
Yeah, yeah so I just want uh, to do that. All right, so keep this between us. This is way better than Clyde's fucking maps. <laughs> Your maps suck. This is great. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll keep working. Uh, maybe I can get you some more... Where, who, Graymire, you said? Graymire. All right, so she writes that down. She says, well, maybe I can, you know, I'll, I'll keep putting down points, you know, of interest that I, that I can see that are useful, like this mountaintop, and maybe I can find something of use near there, and, you know, if it makes sense, and then maybe I can send you guys there, and that'll kind of coincide with what you want to do. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thanks, sure. Any time, she kind of right back into her work. Cool. Right. Um, before we so go, maps. I, I want to talk to Rick about something. It's kind of personal. Like talking map. All right. Cool. Um, well, we'll head out and I should, should check out. Right. Is it like that kind of person? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. We'll see. I'll, I'll meet you guys outside. All right. Cool. Well, I will go buy provisions. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to sleep. Okay. Um, make sure you saddle up. Uh, a couple that that a old client says, says, and that is why I left you guys. <laughs> Oh, uh, what are you gonna? You wanna? You, you Rick kind of. Rick. Yes. Rick, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. What's up? So there's something uh, that I've been looking for for, for some Uh And it's, I don't like talking about it in personal. Um, but I trust you. You're a good dude. Has there been any uh, halfling adventurer women coming by in the last? I don't know. That you can remember since you opened up shop. They that be, is a tall tail. It's a short tail, because they're halflings and they're small. Ah! Oh, sorry. No, just like, leave the jokes to the bard. You my just friend. that's fair. Leave um, the jokes to the bards. Yeah, she's like, she's super short, long, dark hair, very yeah. pale skin, big brown eyes. He says, usually smiling. I have had this shop open here and profitable for. Five years. Yeah, it'd be, that'd be the so. Show. Yeah, around there. Um. She she might have been kind of memorable. She's the most beautiful little girl in the world. So I don't know if that helps. He kind of smiles a little bit and he says, uh, "I don't know what you know about bards. I don't. I, I don't know. They, or what you've heard of bards. They're pretty sweet." But uh, we entertain our fair share of the opposite sex. Yeah, or the same means, sex, yeah. whichever we're feeling at the time. Um, there's a lot of faces. This would have been a shorter one? No, nothing? Let me think on it. Just Do you, can you give me any other information? Uh, anything? Do you have something of hers? Kind of freckly. Freckly. That, wow. Vaguely freckly. You Not actually, I, I would say freckly is a wrong term. You are a term. master got a pretty nice singing voice. of specificity. I am. Uh, she sings a song called These Girls. Yeah. It's about... Girls? You no, know, girls. Yeah. Do you have any unique markings? Her name is Allison. Oh. Free tea leaf. Gotcha. Um, tattoos, weird piercings, anything you can give me that might... Stand out. She's a sorcerer. Wild fame magic. You don't see a lot of them. You don't. But I've been doing this for a while. Wait. Brunette, halfling, fey sorceress isn't enough? No. There's like more than three of those? Where? Named Allison? Where are you from? I'm from uh, Baldur's Gate. How did you do? You, did they have like three people in Baldur's Gate? Last time I was there, there was, a, there. there was a ton of people there. A ton of people, but that's, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting upset about this. I'm I don't know why them. either. You should I really. Know. I feel like you should be more optimistic I have, about this. I, well, it's, it's more nitpicking that I'm being than pessimistic. I'm not being pessimistic. We I, I, all agree on that. So. Uh, I'll try and draw her on the way. Maybe that could help. Yeah. Um. I want to see that. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, cool. Got 15 days of rations. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's bounce. Okay. Um, um, I am riding on Tamarin. I am riding on Aslan. Come, Aslan. Aslan shows up. Yes. It's time to go. 
I'm not wanna, yelling. I mean, like, telepathic. Do you want right. to drive the cart? Or walk? I can walk. So we don't need buttercup and cheese? Oh, I got them all. You got them all. Does that slow us down a lot? No, it'd be about the same speed as all. We'll take buttercup and cheese. Okay. Um, I like sitting and riding. So it's, than it's, not, it's not a lot of work. You guys uh, strike out uh, on north towards the significant mountain. To, the, <laughs> to like Mount Significant. Mount Significant. Um, Are there any more rooms? I don't think so. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Give me those scissors. Yeah. Um, so uh, in this time, you know, you guys are traveling. Um, do you uh, want to do anything with your book? What book? Your scroll. Oh no, I'm good for now. Okay. For I had asked. You should make it a book of limbo. What are you gonna? No, 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 no. You really want to? I wasn't sure if you were gonna jump right to it. The compendium thing. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that at some point. But now. All right. So, you guys are traveling along. It's it's cold. You guys have the nice winter cloaks you got at the storage locker. Mm. So you feel okay. Um, still a little chilly, but you're, you're good. Mm. It's not particularly overly cold. And you've witnessed cold. Very cold in your recent day. Mm. Yeah, two days. So, I've got a hair. First day of travel. And night, nothing happens unless you guys, any interactions you guys want to have, nothing nothing crazy happens. Nothing, nothing crazy goes on. Conversations, things you want to do during that time. Just friendly banter. Okay. So what's up, Theron? I don't know. It. We took that job to go to, or you and... Uh, Reed? <laughs> Reed, yeah, I remember Reed. We we're good friends. It's Allison's yeah. brother. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, um, I'm right you guys there. took that job to go to Fandolin, and yeah. we're like, what's, uh, what's up? What's up with you? Why are you, uh, why are you venturing? Well, oh, well, uh, nothing specifically right now. The, uh, the head of the, the Order of Illmater yeah. uh, in Waterdeep told me to, to venture forth and, you know, to spread joy and light. And uh, I think I eat a lot. And he was I like, you need that. to make some money. And so I was out raising gold, and then we spent it all. Um, so that didn't really go so great. But, well, we you know, nice we do have some nice stuff. Um, but, yeah, so we're just trying to raise some money for, you know, the, the Church of Illmater. Um, okay. Yeah. How about you? I mean, you're, I know you're out trying to find... I'm looking for my fiancé. Your fiancé. Yeah. Uh, Allison Reed Dealey. Reed's younger sister. Oh, I know her. That's why I She's ended up great. in Fandolin. I heard right. that Reed was going to Fandolin. I tried to meet up with him. Meet up with him. But, find out his, he, but he had magically disappeared. Did you know he saved my life? Uh, I did not. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I think I was, I was dead. And, uh, he, uh, You think that? Yeah. I mean, I don't really remember. That's... You know, I went unconscious, but yeah, he, 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 I, he shopped right through my, my hair shirt. I got like two wow. little like singes in it. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I was like floating up. I could hear the, the you know, the holy songs of Illmater. And then, uh, all of a sudden, boom, and I crashed down into my body and this I was awake. Horrible. Uh, dude, like the transition, the, the transition oh, was kind yeah. of jarring yeah. from almost dead to yes, alive. There's worse things, I'm sure. Okay. But yeah, so I'm trying to find Reed or Bree or someone. Anybody. Yeah. Well, end game Bree. Right. And then where I don't know, I don't know, we're talking about a couple years. You're trying to get back to Limbo? Is that why you're here? Uh I want my ship. I miss my ship very dearly. Do you know do you know where it is? Maybe we can help you get it. It's in Limbo. Oh. Uh, how does one get to and from Limbo by ship? In teleportation, of course. Teleportation? Maybe it doesn't have like a dock. That sounds like it would probably be that. Maybe there's no harbor. Okay. Okay. Why don't you just build okay. a harbor? I don't know. It's not. It's not important. It's volcano swamp island. But yeah. But Maybe I there's just... no good place for a harbor. It's floating. A floating volcano. A floating volcano. Ice swamp. It's a lot of mine shit. Lots of mine shit. And mines. <laughs> Whatever those are. <laughs> Alright, so um, that happened. Yeah, um, it, was, it was nice. It was nice. That's good. 
uh, closer to the understanding. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, so you guys continue on through the night. You guys sleep through the night, no problems. Taking shifts, however you guys see fit, everything's great. Um, you get up the next day, you see the mountain off in the distance. It's a pretty high mountain. It's a pretty good mountain. I mean, it's everything snow covered. The mount top is, uh, you know, covered in snow as well. And um, you know, you're walking through the woods, and along the side of the road, uh. If his ship's in limbo, how would he get here? Wouldn't he need a ship to bring him here? Who said that? That a-hole Clyde. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So, <laughs> to see, when you become a certain age as a Gazeri monk, you access more of your, your psionic mind abilities. And uh, at a young age, like myself, being a young monk, um, Sometimes things can get a little hairy. Your powers can kind of like a shirt. You can get over. You oversurge a little bit, and things get. I thought you said that your buddies from your ship drop you off here and then left. No. I'm pretty sure that's what you said when we first met. No. I'm almost positive of that. (laughs) Fourteen. For what? You gotta roll. Okay. Three. Uh, Maybe that. No. You can't decide that for him. (laughs) Yeah. So why don't you just? So, go do that back. Because I'm not really sure what the fuck happened. Kind of like with your ring and the exploding thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Bow, 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 bow. I don't know. Um, don't do that. Don't... I'll do that. Let's see what happens. So, you guys are traveling along the road. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, don't tempt me. Uh, <laughs> and you see, like, a little shack. Like a little, like, roadside stand. Uh, does it have a sign? Uh, it doesn't. But as you get closer, you realize that it's actually not that little. It's it's fairly large. Like, the person that's inside is probably a fairly sizable person. Mm. Cool. So, this might be what we were talking about. Also, if we have to go up on top of the mountain, mm-hmm. I need you guys to have my back. Because last time we were on a mountain, I had to impregnate a fertility goddess. Ah. And it's, it's kind of charming. Impregnate. Nice. Trists, right? She's fertility. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, almost like what happened oh, yeah. to that tea leaf girl when I ran into her on the way from Limbo. What does that mean? What? what oh, that whoa. Mean? Anyway, uh, so Very I'll well. walk up to the stand away from those two and their <laughs> toxic conversation. I can't suggestion. Tell me what you meant by that. <laughs> Just the breeze. You know. I don't have. You don't have suggestions. Don't have suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You do have zone of truth. I do have zone of truth. But I'm not going to waste a uh, second. You see, like, beads? Beads. And it's like, you see some, you hear like, very heavy footfalls. Hmm. And then as the transition from like rough dirt to kind of, you see there's kind of more like a rock base, you hear like a clack, clack, and the beads get pushed aside, and you are staring face to face with a minotaur. Ah, I'll say, hello, sir. And, or madam. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can tell if it's a girl If it has horns, it's a boy Oh, is it? I, I, mean, I apologize works. Hello, uh, sir He he says, uh, hello uh, and Thank you for stopping by my roadside stand Oh, great well, um, This looks this, this looks like it's very well constructed What do you sell here in your stand? He says um, I don't get a lot of customers here I'll be honest with you Okay. Most people take me as a fraud and a liar, but you seem like honorable folk. An ill mater paladin seems like someone I could trust. Okay. I. Do you like my cloak? I Not do. this winter one, this other cloak. Yes. Oh, great. It's fancy. Thanks. I, and he's like, I, he takes out a box and he opens up the box. And I need you to roll me a d4, you to roll me a d4, and you to roll me a d4. What's and in the box? Up. Three. One. Four. Eight. Eight. There are eight shriveled up little beans. beans. He says, I know this is probably going to sound crazy. These are magic beans. I want these beans. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we trade our cows for these? We beans? don't have cows. We I'm have sorry. Cows. Not horses. trading. We are. Not. What did you just say? Our trading oxen. what? Our oxen. Mm. We are not trading buttercup and cheese. I'm sorry, sir. If you were interested in our oxen, you can't have them. 
We are not trading buttercup and cheese. For magic beans, though. No, I heard him. <sighs> Snarky, this one. So these... Anyway. How much would, what, would what do these beans do? Be, be do? No! What? No! What? No! He says, if you take these beans and you plant them in the ground... Just one of them. Any one of them. Well, mm -hmm. then cheese, yeah. Uh, Keep a buttercup. Let's see, let me get you the exact wording here. Jesus. And water it. Within a short period of time, a magical effect will happen. Hmm. Do you know what kind of magical effect? There's a variety of Ooh. magical effects. And I was... These were passed down to me through generations. And I have been will, just looking to sell these to help both... Myself, so I can live in more than this roadside shack. Mm -hmm. But also, if you were to help me by taking these magic beans from me, it will help just the grievances and, and just help me reclaim my honor for my family. A long time ago. Oh, wow. There was this boy who sold his ox or cow. The story goes way back. So we assume that it is a cow to some random stranger for magic beans. Magic beans. Someone of my ancestry was sold for beans. beans. And no one has ever used the beans since then. Oh. And to reclaim my honor and my family's history, let the ancient souls of my family go to rest. It has been, I have been tasked and everyone in my family, family line to try to, as a minotaur, sell beans to a person. We gotta buy these beans. We gotta help this guy out. Do we count as people? Yeah, mm. you're people. Well, we're not humans. Yeah. I don't know if, it, if human was a uh, people was a colloquialism for a human. Or if it just meant what do you mean, hey. people? Yeah. What? what do you mean by people? Yeah, yeah. but I could. Yeah. <laughs> we're all people here. I didn't know that. Okay. Sorry, in Baldur's Gate, people refer specifically to humans. Oh, well, that. That's... We're not humans. Yeah, that's well, colloquial. Well, he might be with the nose and the. He's definitely not a human. I, mean, I can't tell. How can you can tell he's not a human? Humans are ugly, you yeah. know. Yeah, that's true. So, are you interested in my beans? Yeah, I think that we should definitely get these guys beans. Don't spill them. They look like they'd be good sauteed in butter. Mm, I feel like you shouldn't eat magical beans before you plant them. Well, we he said they were. He just said. He just told us. Yeah. Are you not paying attention? No, I kind of not. No. Oh, okay. Well, he just said that there were magical beans that we could water. <laughs> didn't seem to play the ground. <laughs> That's why he's uh, talking to you. I yes. Was, you I, the most respectable. I was preparing something. Ah. Uh, um. Yeah. So what? Uh, what do you need for these beans, man? He says. Wow. To be honest. No one has even ever taken me up on it. They just pass me off as a liar and a fraud. Hmm. And you... I believe actually, you. And I appreciate that. I would take... Ah, do you have anything of interest for trade? Perhaps? Mm. Maybe. Depends on what you're looking for. We've got... Uh, four silver goblets with moonstones in them. Uh, I don't know if that has any interest to you. Hmm... Um, We've got this silk this, embroidered hanky. I have a, a hematite ring that absorbs bad luck until it is false and then shatters. So I guess it would be a temporary thing. We just absorb your bad luck. Yeah. We've got he, this lovely jade frog. He says jade frog. I forgot about jade frog. I did not. I would got take. Some fire bubbles. I would take either the goblets or the frog or both. I think we can do both. Do both. Yeah. It, it, it to help me out rather than actually purchasing it's a barter thing and then that will cleanse cleanse your the of my past. most definitely my good man so uh I'll go grab them out of my backpack and so here you go yes those and then like he like 
starts like kind of shivering like he hands you the box oh, and he amazing. just like just like fully just washes over him just this feeling of ease and like his whole body relaxes and he says now he looks up at the the sky and he says it is done finally and then uh he bows his head to the three of you and he slowly walks out of the uh the beads and you kind of hear the and then it just stops wait so this guy built a roadside stand to sell did he disappear off into nowhere yeah good thing i wasn't talking to you there Shit. Did you just see that guy? He, he's gone. You yeah, see, but I, he, he just disappeared. Yeah, but I have a question. Oh, I'm sorry. So he just set up this roadside stand to sell one box of beans? Yeah, but he just disappeared. Yeah, it was magical. Praise me, Strip. Praise me, Strip. Yeah, but okay. like, I'm more upset that he built a roadside stand to sell one box of beans. Like, I was hoping there was going to be more product. Well, let's go search the rest of the stand. Okay, sure. Is there anything else in there? Why don't you make me a perception check, but only you. Ooh. Can I cast guidance on? Yes. Uh, Four, nineteen, twenty-two. Okay. Um, you find something. All right. What do you find? Let's see what we got for you, man. Let me just <laughs> shuffle right around in here. Well, there's these beads hanging up. We could take them if we want them. I mean, uh, he disappeared, so I don't think he's coming back. They are not magical beads, but they are nice. They're nice? What they color be, are they? Uh, they are a nice kind of crimson color. Crimson, crimson beads? Crimson and gold beads. Oh, we'll take those beads. Yeah, that sounds like good well. beads. Uh, why don't you make me a percentile roll there? Well, me? Yeah, you. Oh, yay. Eleven, probably. Ah, 94. Let me see. Beat down. That's really funny, but, uh... I'm gonna find a good one. I always get hit with snowball. I'm laughing as I'm searching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a free action laughing. What? Uh, no, I'm, I'm alright. For what though? You got hit with a snowball. Ah, well, that's funny too. I'll still laugh. Look we'll back at you. God damn it. You should throw a snowball at him. Does it be 19? No. Can you hit with another snowball? Shit, oh, shit, shit. Did you beat a 19? Nah, I'll just get hit with this snowball. I'm busy looking. You know what? Screw it. Snowball. You find... Oh. Uh, you're looking through, you find, you know, you see just like... There's just garbage and trinkets and, and pieces of paper and, and random stuff. And uh, you find what just looks like this big just chunk of material. Mm. And you're like looking at it. And like... All the stuff is just covered in cow hair. There's like cow hair everywhere. Minotaur, ah. she sh like you could tell that it comes summer, dude sheds like crazy. Yeah. And uh, you no, find just like a pile of just his hair, and like you're pulling through it and fabric, and underneath it you actually find that. Uh, strangely enough, it's not all just hair, but one of them is actually a hair shirt. What? A hair shirt. And you, upon touching this, you have an instant connection with it. You know that this is just, there's, there's definite innate magic in this. I found a magic shirt. And, uh, sure boom, magic. hit with a snowball. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to take ten minutes and cast Detect Magic. Not for your shirt, mostly for the magic beans we just met, but... <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, it's also dust. Okay. 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 Well, I could, before I... That's <laughs> digitation <laughs> or dust. All right. But there's another... <laughs> well, I'm going to take my hair shirt off and fold that up next. Is that what you look like under the hair yeah. shirt? Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, you put on... As you put on the hair <laughs> shirt, yeah. it uh, automatically form fits to your body. <sighs> look at that. This feels comfortable. Like a glove, it, sir. It's still kind of itchy. And uh, you get the feeling that... 
sometimes when Illmater speaks to his followers, it's not all about them suffering and enduring. Sometimes it's helping others that have spent their whole lifetime ah. suffering to endure. You aiding and easing their endurance and their their suffering will help. You know that it helps you on your path to be a better paladin. And why don't you make me a praise a wisdom check? Oh no! You can, add your, you can add your paladin level to this though. Oh right, <laughs> an eleven. With with your wisdom modifier, plus yeah, plus your your wisdom saving throw. Oh oh, plus then a 15, your paladin level. Then a fifteen. You're not sure, but like I part of you is like no 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 no. But then you're like maybe. Maybe? Was that... Nah, I could be El Mater. He wouldn't just be Minotaur. Be Minotaur. But, but, no. But, like, you're not sure, but, like, there's, a, like, a little seed of doubt that, like, it might have been him. Well, uh, the beads are magical. Cool. Uh, what? School of magic. Does it matter? You might. Mm-hmm. Beads are magical. You ever just have that like feeling like you're being just guided through no. life by never once, never ever by Mistra? Never? Never really. No. Oh, wow. Well, that's sad for a cleric. Well, like, what do you mean by guided? Like, like there's there's a holy hand that's pushing you. Well, I can cast guidance. Does that count? I don't know. Does that f- you ever feel like Mistra's got your back? Well, yeah, every time I cast Spirit Guardian. Oh, well, there you go. You get the idea. Maestro. That's what I feel like. Just okay. happened. Uh, I get that's the, awesome. Bump it. Yeah. I bump with the um, mage hand. Oh. But your mage hand's in. It's invisible, so oh. we just feel a gentle <laughs> knock on the title. What the fuck was that? Unusual. Something just guiding you, you know. Hand by hand. A guiding hand. All right. Um, that's awesome. A little bit of enchantment, a little bit of illusion, a little bit of transmogrification. These bees! Transfiguring, whatever it is. Do some different stuff, and they're cool. Let's use one. There's eight of them. Let's, or at the end of the day today, after we're done hiking. Or right now. Try one. Plant them on the top of the mountain. Plant them at the top of the mountain. He told you that you could plant one, water it, and wait a little bit, and something will happen. Something will happen. It seems like a cool thing to try. Yeah, I mean... We can do it later. No, or you can just wait. No, we can do it now. Huh? Just gonna do that. Right. Okay. Uh, so, you guys are going to do it now? Yeah, let's do it now. Right. So, you go ahead and plant one of the beans. You get to, you pick which one. Uh, that one. Oh, right. that's a good, so you good choice. Plant it, put the bean in, you know, push it into the dirt, and you can just squeeze some of the snow over it to water it. Uh, a, minute, a minute passes. Go ahead and roll me, since you planted it. Okay. Uh, a percentile, please. Ooh. Worked out okay last Ooh. time. Uh, 17. Uh, you see a sprout and then leaves, and then, like, you guys feel a rumbling and start to back up, and, like, a tree just continues to just come up out of the ground, and, um, I need you to make me another percentile roll. Your goal, uh... I'll let you pick, high or low. Which one do you want the good one to be? Do you want it to be 50 and up, or you want it to be 1 of 49? I don't want to pick, because I always pick wrong. All right. 50 and up. 50 and up? 50 and up is good. That's what you want. 78. Yeah. All right. Uh, it, the tree continues to grow, and um, upon closer inspection, this is not a tree. Guys, this isn't a tree. Hmm. But... It looks like a tree, but it has arms and legs and a face, and it's looking at you. That's a trunk. It's, it's too bad our druid isn't here. This tree is looking at me. Hmm. It is looking at you. Hi, sir. Ho, oh, tree. tree. Hello. Thing. What kind of tree is it? Do we? I, can we identify species? Make a perception check. Hmm. Or a nature check. A nature, nature check. check. That doesn't do anything for me. Thirteen. Got no nature. I'm a city boy. It's a tree. It is a tree. I can tell. It's totally a tree. Oh, well. It says, Hello. It 
It's nice to see you. Um, we just planted you from a magic bean. Um, that sounds weird, but it's true. Yeah, we'll try and be honest with you. Um, do you have a name? No. How would you feel if we, just for now, referred to you as Trevor? Trevor! Trevor, the that's dream. the exact name that I was thinking. It was perfect. It really was. It was oh, weird. Right. It's like everything has a drum roll when he's on it. I like it. Okay. All right. Um, Trevor, we're gonna go climb that mountain and uh, look for something. If you want to come, that's significant. cool. I don't know. Could could you carry help us? Up the mountain, Trevor. How fast are you? Slow. Yeah, I, did, I thought that was... We could have assumed that. Yes, well, he's a tree. That's true. Mm. Well... So, yeah, do you want to come help us or do you want to go do your thing? I don't really want to yeah. you out, Trevor. Yeah, I mean, who knows what you feel like doing. What do you feel like doing, man? But, uh, I mean, life just kind of opened up to you. Yeah. World's your oyster. You've been waiting for thousands of years, maybe. Oysters yeah. are little uh, animals in shells. Uh, they live uh, under the water, yeah. which you will eventually experience coming down from the sky, the sky in the water. form of rain. He uh, kind of looks, and he's like sensory overload from all these things happening so fast, and he says, Stay. All right. Uh, uh, we'll see you later, Trevor. Yeah, just be careful, because lots of people, us weird people, Come through here, so you might want to go into the forest a little bit. And he kind of nods, and then like, <clears throat> and walks off into the woods. Huh, you made a tree person. Weird. That was weird. Like the tree person from that war realm. There. Coming down like. Uh, so you guys continue on your way. Yeah, let's go up the mountain. Huh, what weird things happen? So in you have seven room. seven beans left. All right. Another bean. Uh, and Another you one. get the feeling <laughs> that. There's no guarantee, but there's a high probability that planting a bean again will not produce the same effect, although it could. And you also don't know, but maybe maybe you'll see Trevor again one day. Ooh, all right. Maybe it'll be it'll be in a good it'll be good for you. Could have been bad. Could have been bad. <laughs> could have been liar. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like no Trevor. <laughs> Why? Threw off the mountain. <laughs> Um, so you guys continue onwards towards the mountain, mm -hmm. and, uh, at the base of the mountain is a lake. A lake. A lake is frozen solid. Ah. This is a and lake. across the lake, you could see a cave mm -hmm. in the lower half of the mountain, and then the mountain itself. So you kind of get, the mountain is kind of jagged, and it's hard to tell, but you get the feeling that, um, Where that going through this cool. cave is probably going to get you up the mountain. You know, so. the best the best you've got from what you can tell from here. So if you cross the frozen lake, then the cave uh, you should be able to get to that cave. How thickly frozen is this lake? Uh, would you like to inspect it? I would like to. Yeah. I mean, I got I will just take a javelin and just Go about five feet out. I'll tell you what, uh, you go, go down. <laughs> you it. walk out about five feet. Okay. Uh, everything's fine. You know, you're a little, a little slippery. Sure. But uh, why don't you make me a strength, uh, an athletics check, I guess. Okay. That works well for me. Uh, athletics. Uh, that is a twenty-three. All right. You one swift blow whoosh, goes through the ice, and it sinks down like halfway, and nice. like you get the feeling that this will. You don't think that this lake would uh, just is just going to break through. I think no. you guys realize you shouldn't bring the oxen and the cart across here. Right. That might cause a problem, and also they can't swim yeah, in ice. But the three of you should pose no problem. No. Mm -hmm. right, so we'll, There's uh, a cave across the frozen lake. I think we should go to it. Okay. Check it out. Yeah, should definitely. Should we make like a little mini camp for the oxen and the oh, horse? Yeah, well, there's all this snow and stuff, so that like would be... Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely take an Aslan. We're, I'm going to be off of him while we're walking across the ice lake, but definitely. 
All right, cool. So we'll spend, you know, however long it takes to set up a reasonable shelter for the yeah, action. Half an hour. You guys can kind of like cover it up from uh, view of the road. I'll tell you what, you guys are doing a good job. Why don't you uh, make me a melee attack roll? Oh. oh. Doesn't matter. You chop a tree right in half. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice. I got a natural one. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't good matter. Job. This axe is awesome. So you fell as many trees as you need to make a nice kind of like a lean-to thing, which isn't actually that many. You can kind of just like do like put half strength into it like you kind of just did by accident. Yeah. And then like it just like it lays the tree down and then you're able to kind of take what kind of evergreen fronds and kind of build like a little lean-to shelter to keep them dry. Mm-hmm. And uh, you back the cart in. Everything's great. Cool. Everything's great. Everything is off. Awesome. So is you guys awesome. are going to have to cross... The ice, though, mm-hmm. it is about to get across the lake. Let's say it's like two hundred feet of just open. It's open though; it's like wide open. You can see uh, always, but every so often, um, I'll say every fifty feet, you'll probably have to make a dexterity uh, saving throw to avoid falling prone, just okay. slipping and falling. <laughs> because it's, you know, it's ice, and you guys don't have spiked boots or boots of the Winterland or any of that stuff. Sounds good. I think that's All right, fair. so let's say you guys made it about 50 feet. Go ahead and make me a dexterity saving throw. Adelaide gets advantage, because he is, or well, he gets plus four. Eight! For Aslan. Aslan should be fun. Yeah, I'm going to say Aslan is going to be have advantage because of his claws. Aslan's totally fine. He's got like a 23. 24. And I got a 13. All right, so you're walking, you see Aslan walking, and then all of a sudden you hear, you hear like, and you two just both oh, oh, get on your face. Oh, I did that. that uh, hurt. And that hurt. you're going to take, uh, a roll a, both of you roll a d4. Mm. One. Four. Points of bludgeoning damage because you fell on your nose. Ow! And you know what? Ow. You're you're like slightly larger dwarven nose, kind of cushioned your fall. Oh, good. But he's got those sharp half elven features, oh. so it, it impacted. It hit more than just his nose. It hit his whole face. Ow. Shut up, Aslan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aslan. All right, so you guys uh, continue on walking another fifty feet along. <laughs> If you want to kind of, if you want to go on all fours, you'll move at half speed, but you'll have advantage on your saving throws to avoid. Just gonna walk it. Just gonna go for it. All right, Aslan, with your advantage. Oh no, Aslan just got a fourteen. Nineteen. Eleven. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, so you're like, you're walking and it feels a little slippery, and then you're like, nah. That's only one thing. I'm st- on the low center of gravity. I'm good. So, Ranrak, who has never had any problem with dexterity saving throws in his life, slips. <laughs> and he falls. A misty step. Okay. Where? Fine, you misty back step on back on your feet. Nothing happens. That startles Aslan, who bumps into you and you both oh. fall. <laughs> Damn. Uh, both roll a d4. Oh, oh, oh. One for Aslan. <laughs> And four for me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, a nosebleed actually starts. Mm. Like you had a little bit of a nosebleed now from falling on your nose twice. Mm. Ow. Alrighty. Uh, you guys move another 50 feet. Alright, that's fine. Hey! Aslan's fine. 27. <laughs> okay, you're fine. <coughs> ah! Nope. Nope. That's, that's a 10. Is that you? <laughs> that's for me. Was it Aslan? Yeah. Well, he, uh, I don't know, he rolled a 19. Oh, well, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, so you're fine. Aslan's fine. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Are you going to be alright, dude? I just really... <laughs> 12 points of damage in three in come here. Just walk through. No, I can't. I can't. That's, you're too far. Look at how far away right, you are. are so he says yeah, that to you. We're both done. Uh, and okay. you say, no, it's too far. Yeah. And you slip and Uh-oh. fall. And then you're just like, and you actually fall over from Shit. your own impact and uh-huh. take three points of damage. Uh-huh. 
So, so you I... gentlemen continue moving on. You're making about 25 feet. I'm gonna need you all to make me perception checks. Oh. So if I push out my shitty rolls on those, 10. 18. Oh. A 20. Look at that. Did you get? 20. And you had a? 18. Okay, and you had a 10. So, you know, you're more just focused on the fact that these losers keep falling. You just got this. I mean, you did blow your Misty Step for the day to not fall and take a maximum of a D4 damage, but that's all right. you looked cool My doing it. My monk grace, I can't let that happen. That's fine. You looked cool doing it. So you guys, amidst the falling and the bloody noses and the face palm slips, you hear something. You hear like a... Oh, skivering. On the ice. On the ice. ice. Turn around. But I am. You're not. You're also. You gotta realize you're on an open lake yeah. that extends for a while, and noise carries over open spaces mm-hmm. like that. So you don't see anything. Right I'm now. gonna hurry to get off of the ice. I'm gonna walk at my normal speed to get off of the ice. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hurry as cautiously as uh. I think we should get off this ice. Uh, yeah, I agree. Let's get off this so ice. I'm gonna say you guys make it like another ten feet when you see something at a relatively fast speed erupt from inside of the cave and come running right out on the ice towards oh, shit. you. Ah, oh. and man, then oh, sick. Uh, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. then from the sides, both sides. You hear the scuttling again, and your passive perceptions were not high enough to uh, perceive that. To perceive. To perceive it passively. Oh, um, mine is actually a seventeen, not a sixteen. Uh, Rain Rex is a seventeen. So I know it didn't affect anything. Yes. I just uh, forgot to up it. I got it. Well, what you see coming at you from three different angles now. Well, the climb was here. Yeah. Oh Nothing would have snuck up on her. Is that? Ah, oh, I don't like that. Mm. Three of them. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. Show the internet. I will. I have it on here to bring up to show the internet. I want to jump on us. <laughs> this is the uh, worst. Shrink that down so you guys We're can ice. see. We're on thin ice now. Uh, I hate geez. ice. It seems unlikely that I would take twelve damage. So, internet, um, you can see this image right now. That is what they see scuttling at them. Three of them, one from each side. And everybody can go ahead and roll for initiative. Great. Solid two. Natural 20! Yeah. 12. Two? Two. Last. I got no decks. I could do worse. Just just one worse. Okay. <laughs> Let me just... Uh, oh, I have it over here. Man. Pull up their stats to see what they get. Apparently, Frozen Lakes are not there in uh, Strong Suit. Apparently not. Uh, I don't know if he's ever going ice skating. I don't think so. Well, we can do it once and maybe the ice will come alive. I'll you. tell you what. I'll be nice. I'll use the other die. I appreciate it. The one that. that I didn't use on the weekend that I had 20 natural 20s. No. No. 14. Uh, what was yours? 22. 12. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they are going to go right here. So, Flint, you are up first. Uh, how far away are they? Uh, oh, well, let me grab a couple of guys to represent them, too, just so you guys have something on the map there. Um, they are... Thank you for all uh, I'll say... I'll yeah, offer no, I'm offering them... To, yeah, to have them. What's it called? So yeah, I am. They're about fifteen feet away. Ah, well, you guys heard them coming from a while away. Say, say twenty feet uh, on all sides. Just uh, throw those guys out there. Mm-hmm. So there's how many? There's three. Three. All right. Uh, I am going to use my turn to cast spiritual, spiritual weapon. Okay. For a change. 
spiritual something. Well, it's still, I mean, you know, the cleric. Yeah. It's spiritual. Magic missile. So yeah, spiritual weapon. Uh, one of those motherfuckers. Um, I guess the one uh, closest to me. Okay. Uh, and Super. my spiritual weapon is going to attack. Um, uh, 21 to hit. That will hit. Uh, it's just a D8 plus my butt. A D8 plus your butt? Plus my butt, yes. <coughs> and your wisdom up, right? Here. Yes. We'll use that to represent your spiritual weapon. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Oh, I'm actually going to move over. Uh, 7 damage. Seven. Radiant. I think radiant damage. Okay. All right. It is. There. Oh, I'm sorry. Force damage. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. In that respect. Uh, all right. So they are all gonna close. Let's put one on. You don't think it may get? Put one on each of you. So you notice that they are kind of. You saw they're kind of long, snake-like, but they have legs underneath them, and they. You see that they have no issue on the ice. It's not even like it's like second nature to them. Like they scurry all along. It's probably because their bodies are so long the way that they can snake like kind of almost slither but with feet. Uh, it snakes. doesn't pose any issue to them. Um, okay. So they are going to attack each of you. Oh shit. Alright, fun. Okay, so we'll start with uh, let's start with Theron. Sure. So he kind of rears back with its big toothy dragon-like ball, and it goes to chomp at you for a twenty. Yeah. Oh, just a hit too. So that will do. Uh, it's my kind of day. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Um, yeah. 18 piercing damage. Oh. Uh, and I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Sure. Uh, that will be a 22. Okay. Uh, then is actually going to back up. Okay. It will provoke an attack of opportunity from you, so you get a free shot. That's good. Uh, 18. That will hit. All right. What did you do to it? It backed up. Oh. Okay. Uh, On its own? I'll throw a level one smite on there. As well. Uh, so that will do. Nice. Yeah. 15, 19, plus some. So 26 damage. Okay. Wow. All right. So it went in and it kind of bit into your side. You felt maybe something was going on there, but everything seemed to be fine. And it kind of latched on to your armor, kind of got around the armor, got a little bit in some of the, the gaps in the armor. And, and did some damage to your arm, but you managed to shake it off, and then it actually goes to back up and, and, and move back five feet, and then you kind of bring it down, and, you know, kind of cutting through the kind of dull gray light, the radiant light of your smite comes and hits it, and it it kind of, it turns a little bit with its kind of serpentine body, and you still hit it, and get a little nick on the upper shoulder, and it's, um, you know, instantly cauterized, but it backed up five feet, and now, so move it, uh, it's going to strike at you with its claws. Oh. Because I didn't realize that it has reach. Ha. Hmm. For a 13. Ah, that will miss. So it's mad that that missed. So it's going to try one more attack. Ah. That makes sense. And it's also going to miss. Ha. So it kind of like moved in like it was going to serpentine around you. And then it was like it thought better of it and moved back. All right, so the next one's gonna go for Ranrak, and it's gonna back up five feet, so it's gonna you're gonna get a free shot. So you get a free attack on it. one one attack on the ice. On um, you get an attack on it because you prompt an opportunity attack. You're burning the it. No, no, that's a spell. You gotta oh, yeah, attack it. Okay. Yeah. So with the staff, then. Yeah. Okay. So. It's gonna be a twenty. That will hit. Not natural. That's fine. Um, four, eight. Oh, plus dex. So. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, so again, it kind of like sizes you up a little bit and like starts backpedaling, 
and you just kind of clock it right on the head, but then it's going to attempt to bite you. So it roars in and it misses completely. So it's disgruntled, so it goes in for a claw attack. 17 will miss. And then it's going to try to do its little serpentine dealy for a 23. Yeah. That will hit. So you are going to take some damage. So. Uh, nine damage. And it, it wraps its like serpentine body around you, and you are now grappled. <laughs> you are considered restrained, and it's focusing on you. So we'll get to the resolving the restraint when we get to your turn. And then the last one is going to back up uh, five feet. Axe attack! Okay. With my axe. Are you going to axe it a question? I'm going to axe it a wound. Uh, tw- uh, 23. Uh, that will hit? I lied, 21. Okay. Clyde, they're fighting these things. You'll see them right here. Five. Just popped it up on the screen. Would have been uh, nice five damage. Have five damage. damage. Snuck up on. Uh, okay. Do it. Okay. Have her so you kind of bring this, such a shit. You bring the axe down and you go. Gah! Only this was made out of wood. <laughs> uh, so then it's going to try to bite you. You should probably cut. Seventeen. So it goes in and you just kind of bop, bop it, boop it on the snoot. I boop it on the snoot! With your shield. Nice. Then it goes for a claw and it's still a little like off put by that. on the snoot! So then it's going to serpentine for 25. No! Uh, so you're going to take... You guys keep getting serpentined. We do. Six damage. Um, I have to do a constitution check. For, uh, oh, for spiritual weapon. For spiritual weapon. For six. Your save is a six. I, got, I rolled an 18. All right, you're fine. Yes. Uh, and you are now considered, we are grappled, and you are restrained. restrained. Okay. And it is now Ranrak's turn. Try and get out of the restrainment. So, all right, so you can go ahead and make a save of some kind. A butt check. I couldn't put my hands Stick together. Tenders. And burning hands the... Okay. Yeah, you are restrained. Oh. So during that, your speed becomes zero. You can't benefit from movement. Attack rolls uh, against you have advantage. And you also your attacks have disadvantage. And you have disadvantage on deck saving throws. I would say to escape the grapple... Oh, acrobatics check. Do you have it, I guess? How do you normally escape a grapple? That's a better question. I think, isn't it like a strength? It's just a strength or is it athletics? I thought it was just strength, like a, like a contest. Like a, it might both be. Roll. Well, it's got a DC, so it's easy to make it. So. Um, well, either way, what uh, would you roll? The condition... Uh, and he, well, yeah, so I might be able to get out of it. Sorry, one sec. No, it says it only ends if the grappler is incapacitated. Or if an effect removes the grappled creature oh, from the grappled of the grappler. Oh, grappled creature can use its action to escape. So you can do, I'm going to say, because it, it says it's a constrict thing, uh, you can make a, it says DC 14, so that would typically be a saving throw. So you can either make a, ah, uh, oh, dex. Check. Like, check, I think. Could I s- Check. What's the difference between a check and a check? Check is. Check through is, you know, uh, same through you get to add your proficiency bonus to a couple. Ah. Well, to escape from a grapple with, like, another person, it's an us. It's an opposed strength. Or it's an opposed athletics versus athletics or dexterity. Or acrobatics. Or acrobatics, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, sure, let's go acrobatics check. You can try to slip it. Okay. So you make an acrobatic. So mm-hmm. you said well, you said you rolled an eight. So what's your yes. acrobatics? Oh uh, well, that was that was with the strength. Oh, that, that was three. Was, well, what is acrobatics? Do you have the acrobatics? Yeah, the skill. It's I don't, your. I don't. It's your dex mod then. Plus five, so ten. Yeah. All right. So you are still. And I'm proficient though, so it'd be another three. Or no? Yes, if you're proficient in acrobatics, it would be another three. It would have been a thirteen. Then. Thirteen. It's you're still grappling. You can still um, attack. 
You can still attack. Yeah. Uh, disadvantage, right? At disadvantage. I'm going to say that that used up your bonus action to try and escape. Now, if I were to say potentially do that with also the jump, say I like... Cast your jump spell? Yeah, yeah. that would triple your jump speed, but you still have to break the grapple. Yeah. Or, so... I you, gotcha. So, Misty Step will work. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> so I'm gonna that attack ironic. it. I'm gonna miss. Okay. Um, you still get to, yeah, you get your two attacks. Uh, I don't think the fifteen. Ah, uh, fifteen will hit. Okay. Uh, Again, one more time. This is what they're fighting. Oh, uh, for five. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Okay. Extra five. All right. Um, Aslan, the magnificent. Will yep. pounce as he is 5, 10, 15, 20 feet away from that guy right there. Sure. Uh, and that's when he <coughs> Well, I won't be within 5 feet of him, so I'll be within 5 feet of him if he pounces. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. So he'll pounce uh, and he will do a 20. That'll hit. All right. Uh, and then he will also make a bite attack then, along with his claw attack. Do, do, seven plus six is thirteen. He will do thirteen damage. Uh, Theron will move forward five feet on okay. the ice and uh, attack twice with his sword. Uh, he will get a thirteen and a twenty-five. Uh, Theron got a 13 and a 25. Yeah. Uh, first one will miss, second one will hit. Definitely hit. Alright. So that will do 14 damage. Alright, so it's kind of a little bit of a flurry of a back and forth here. Uh, but you are managed on your second hit to get it. Aslan kind of having shaken the creature a little bit already. Um, I'm going to make a rule now. I've decided. Uh, if you get hit on your turn, I'm going to make you make a dex check to not fall. Okay. So, uh, Flint, it's your turn. All right. I just made that rule now, so it didn't affect the last turn. Cool. So. Oh, he's all wrapped up in me. Oh, um, you were restrained, that's right. But your spiritual weapon can still attack normally. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do first. Okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to have the spiritual weapon come in. Actually, fuck, 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 fuck. If fuck. you get the spirit, if the spiritual weapon hits, yeah. I'll say you'll have advantage on the check to break the grapple. Okay. So, so that would use your action to grapple, to break the grapple. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Uh, 14 plus my thing, I think it's a 22. Yeah, 22. <coughs> that will hit. 22 will hit, and... So your spinning shuriken of Mistra comes zipping in, and uh, how much damage? Uh, it does 9. Nice. 9 damage. Okay, so... Uh, it <laughs> spins in, and as it hits... You kind of feel it like it like tenses and loosens a little bit due mm -hmm. to the damage. So you can actually go ahead and make a uh, an athletics check or an acrobatics check, whichever you have that's better. Uh, I have um, athletics. And then add advantage to try to break it. Uh, that would be 19. Okay, you manage with the help from, you know, and then the shuriken continues to kind of like spin around its head and it's kind of distracted. And you manage to push it off. Uh, and you are free from the grapple, yeah. but now it's its turn. Oh, oh. So, uh, let's start with, uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll go the other way this time. So, okay. turn. So he's going to try to bite you. And he's going to miss. Nice. He's going to try to claw you. And he's going to miss. Oh. He's going to try to constrict you, though. Oh, no. And he's going to miss. Okay. Oh, wow. Two, two, three. Woo. You're having trouble on the ice, too. Uh, now it goes to Ranrak. So you are still constricted. Uh, so all of its attacks have advantage, which means mm -hmm. they get to use two dice. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh -oh. it's going to fight mm -hmm. for a 19, so that still misses. Claw. Miss. And it's going to, because it's already got you grappled, it's just going to try to squeeze. Constrict. Constrict you for 21, which will actually hit you. So you will take. It's cool that you dodged the first two, though. Yeah. Being yeah. While we're should drain, fourteen points of damage. Mm. Uh, and then we're gonna go to you. 
Uh, so it's going to bite for a 20. Hit. Yes. Yes. Great. <laughs> great. <laughs> Dude, I rolled double eights. Oh, great. Dude, that's 20 points of damage. Oh, great. Uh, and then you should make a constitution saving throw. Watch out. How does a 16 do? Uh, I'm not going to tell you one way or another, but oh. okay. I'll make note of that. Uh, then he's going to claw you. That's what I would do if I was him. 24. That will also hit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Claw does more damage? More damage. Oh, that's not great. Twenty again. Ah, that's okay, because now I'm unconscious. <laughs> and then it's gonna try to constrict Aslan. Oh no! no Aslan! Natural twenty. Oh. Damn. Six. And ten is sixteen and twenty damage to Aslan. Ah, well he's still alive. And Aslan is grappled. Good old Aslan. Being all grappled. You do that. uh, that's not my saving throw. Because <laughs> it's his turn. <laughs> <laughs> you are lucky. Because that was a one. That was a one. You really... Oh, shit. Doesn't matter. Too late. Your turn. Uh, you can use your bonus action to break. The, Just completely uh, break it. To try to break it. I'm gonna um, try. Oh, I'll tell you what. Because I let Sean kind of do it. I'll let you do this. I'll give you the option. You can use your bonus action to break it and still have your full action to attack. Or... You could use your action to break it and use your bonus action for something else. But never mind, you have to actually... I was going to say, because you can use burning hands, but you have to attack first to do it. So you might as well just use your bonus action to try to break it. Which I will. Acrobatics. Ooh, ah, that, that looks nice. good. Yes. Uh, so, 20. 25. All right. So you're able to kind of... You kind of push a little bit, and you're able to kind of like slink your way out and kind of do like a little slip move, and you're out. So now you can attack. Yeah, and it's oh, serpentine. Okay. <laughs> Just dodges everything. Ah, uh, Theron. Ah, we're not using the yellow one. Ah, seventeen. It's a pass. All right. <laughs> Link. Aslan doesn't get to go. Oh, Aslan does get to go. Aslan, of course he would. <laughs> He's gonna break free. He's gonna break free. Yes. Too bad you didn't use that on your freaking saving throw, so you could have gotten a health point back and gotten back up. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Well, that was a success, so. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so Aslan long. breaks free as a bonus action and can still attack. Great. He will, uh, he'll, he'll definitely do that. Man. Uh, 21. I will hit. Yeah, good job, Aslan. You just keep doing your stuff. Uh, that's oh, nine nice. damage. Nice. He's a boss. And he'll also roar magnificently. Meow. Yeah. So Aslan breaking free of the grapple as it roar as he roars back in both a kind of saddened but also enraged roar, chomps down and pulls it breaks off a bunch of the scales off the side of it and just you know, it's just seething and angry now. Claws into the ice. Nice. It is now uh, uh I'm going to use my bonus action, and instead of commanding my spiritual weapon, I'm going to shout out to Th to Theron. <coughs> get up, I believe in you! I thought it was get up, get on up. No, that's a different game. Different game. Yeah, that's James' game. Gotcha. Uh, four, eight health. Yeah! All right, you um, heal eight, eight hit points, and you are back on your feet. Woo. And then I'm going to use my regular action to cast Green Flame Blade okay. on this guy. So that is a 24. Okay, that will hit. And that will do. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, uh, 9 plus 4. 13 damage. And is that all fire damage now? No, because it's the primary guy, so it's still... But the, you still do an extra D8, don't you? Yeah, so it's uh, going to be six regular damage, seven fire damage. Okay. Uh, brain is not working. Uh, you said how many fire? Seven. Seven. Okay, you uh, get the feeling... As you see the flames hit it, it kind of re like reels back a little bit, like it's afraid. Like 
This is doing more than you anticipated. Then only fire damage. Uh, not their turn. I seem to say. Now <laughs> he's gonna attack you. Right. Goes in for a bite with a twenty-three. That's a hitter. That's a hitter right there. Not a misser. Not a misser. I roll all lows on you though. You got seven points. Yeah. All right. Hey. Um. Pass the save, so I keep up spiritual right. weapon. And make now. me a constitution saving throw. Uh, well, let me write down the damage first before I forget. Um, constitution. I rolled a 19. So You're fine. Yeah. Then it's going to go for a claw. And it's going to miss. And it's going to serpentine. No! 21. That's a serpentine. No! For, ooh, well, I was spoke too should, soon. Should attack. 19. Next. 19 damage? Yeah. Uh, next is, uh, I guess, yeah, sure, because he left. I'll attack Aslan. <laughs> For a miss on white. Uh, 19 at Aslan? Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. Claw on Aslan. Uh -oh. Another 20. <sighs> Aslan's <Yeah>. gone. <laughs> Disappears. And then it, like, over to Ranrak. Oh, Nice. Uh, and it's gonna try to constrict him. Oh, is he already constricted? He's already constricted. He is constricted. Uh, no, he just broke out of constriction. He, he did. did just break this out. This one's gonna bite him. And get a two. And then it's gonna claw him. And get a 14. So that's fine. Uh, then the other one's gonna attack Ranrak. For a 20, which will miss. And then that one will hit with the claw, though, which does more damage. Five, uh, nine, 13 damage, okay. and a serpentine, oh, shit. and it's going to hit Ooh. for five, uh, nine points of damage, and you are constricted. Constricted again. And now it's your turn. Is that his turn? It's not like oh, it's very much turn, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, I forgot that it got you up, so you lucked out. Yes, I'm glad that you forgot that, because I was <laughs> expecting to get attacked. I forgot. Oh, no, there's two on me. <laughs> yes, yeah, there are. I forgot that he was up, so... Oh, oh okay, so I think I'll break free of the constriction. What do you got? Uh, 18. Yeah, points. you're fine. So you break free of the constriction. Two attacks. And oh, nice. I think those will both hit. Got 17. For... Uh, one on each. One. Are you targeting one? Just attack one. Just attack the one. Which one are you targeting? Oh, I've been attacking one. The the one that I've been attacking. The blue one. Okay. So that was fifteen and nine, fourteen. So. Okay. So you uh, you managed to do another kind of slip maneuver, break out of this one, which is a different one than you fought, and you. And like you can kind of see, it's hard to see damage because it's. It's scaled, but you can kind of see like little cracks in the scales and like kind of darkening color underneath the scales. Like it might be causing some bruising. Uh, Theron. Theron. Uh, lay on hands. As a bonus As action. A bonus action. <laughs> it's an excellent bonus action. <laughs> that is the best bonus action I can have. Uh, Duke. Uh, and then I will go up with my sword. Does that heal you to full? Uh, no, not all the way to full. And close. attack twice. Uh, my first attack on that guy right there will be a 22. That will hit. All right. And I will smite him again. What level smite? Just a one level smite. Okay. Because that's what I want to do. Um, and that will be 4, seven. 10, 15, plus 7, 22 damage. And then I'm not using this dice anymore. Okay, you, dice. Uh, you, okay. Again, you bring down glowing with holy light, and you can see that this one, looking at the other two, this one looks more haggard than them. Still holding strong, but definitely hurting more. Mm. Uh, and you also heard, as you woke up, that he did yell out, Fire damage. Fire damage. I don't have any fire damage. I doubt you have Searing Smite as a spell. Anyway, use your bonus action anyway, so. Yeah. And then I'll attack again uh, for a 13. That one's. So, I see. Whiff down and flint. Are you constricted? Nope. Okay. So it's your turn. And that was me attacking the one that's constricting him, right? Uh, he's well, not constricted. Oh, that's right. 
Uh, first, I'm going to use my... Yeah, I'll do the uh, spiritual weapon first. Okay. What do you get your spinning star of Mistra? Uh, 15. I hit... Oh, sorry, 13. Does not hit I rolled, a, I rolled a 5, I don't know why I said 15. Um, now, uh, <laughs> green flame blade. Okay. Uh, that is a 22. Okay, that will hit. Alright. So you bring your axe down. Paint read, will be fire. Read in flames. Uh, that is two fire damage. Okay. And nine not fire damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you bring it down, the flames just kind of like lick on it a little bit. And it's like, ah. Oh, and then it gets God. hit by it. It's like, ah, that's alright. I can hang it. <laughs> Uh, and then, alright, it's their turn. So first one's gonna go on Flint. Natural one. Claw for a 19. Which will that? Tie goes to the attack. For six. Seven. Uh, 11 damage. 11 damage. And a two. 13! 22! Oh no! 17! Uh, for 14 damage. Alright, well I gotta roll the, uh... Yeah, so as it gets to 14. Failed. Alright. Uh, so, so... My spiritual weapon putters out. Oh. And you are restrained. I am restrained. Uh, Alright. So, let's go for a blue guy on Ranrak. For a 21. Mm -hmm. We'll hit, so... Brace yourself, boys. Ranrak's about to take a nap. For a 15. He's oh, unconscious. Uh, also, make me a constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. Me ten. Okay. Good to know. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Uh, then... <coughs> he's down. Um, yeah, let's have it, uh, let's have it go get, uh... Who's it gonna go for? Because I could have just have it attack you, and then, you know what? Screw it. Let's have it attack you, Ranrak. And uh, it will automatically hit. Don't have to roll damage. You just have one failure automatically because okay. it hit you. Okay. Uh, and then the other one's gonna turn around because you've been wailing on it. So sure. Yeah. You. We've been fighting and stuff. Me and him. <coughs> Twenty-two hey, on hey. the bite. Yes. God damn it. Right? Freaking slinging here. 17. Nice. Make me a constitution saving throw. Okie dokie. Uh, that would be a 16. That will be a number that I might tell you does something later. Mm-hmm. Claw. Miss. And a serpentine. No. Miss. Yay. All right. Uh, so that is their turn. Ranrak. Natural, Natural 20. 20. <laughs> One hit yes. point. Back up. Your boy uh, nice. right here gets knocked Whoa. down for the first time ever. Says, no, nah, it's okay. All right, you're you're free He's, to you're free to attack. He, yeah, you're you're tub thumping, man. Oh, chumbawamba! Chumbawamba! You can. Uh, that's a one miss and one hit with a twenty. And then that's a one miss. <clears throat> and uh, on this this guy, right? The blue guy. Sure. Four, ten, fifteen. Okay, and you can remember because that is a feature that you have. If you like, you can. Use a bonus action to cast Burning Hands and use key points to upscale it to do more ah. damage. And I'll say you can still shift to hit both of those two guys. Yeah, which it. I'm going to do. Okay, so um, I don't remember how it works. I think it's one key point to cast it as a bonus action at first level. Oh, God. It's not going to be in that book. No, it's in that one. I was going to look at Burning Hands. Oh, okay. It's um, two key points, uh, 3d6, and then every key point above that's an extra... D6. Six. I think so. it maxes out eventually, though, the key point usage. <coughs> it's like something based on your level. I only really have four key points anyway. You should have more. You have six. You, yeah. get, one, you get one per level. What? What's a level? What? Yeah, you haven't paying what attention, the... man. You yeah. get one per level. You gotta take care of your monk. Yeah, yeah man. Just piss through those key points. That's not a good wish. Here, I got, <laughs> I, got it. I got it right here. Uh, Sun Soul Monk. Uh... You can spend key points to cast Burning Hands as a higher level spell. Each additional key point you spend increases it. The maximum number of key points that you can spend equals half your monk level. So you can spend three total? 
Uh, yeah, three. So yeah. four, four D. Four D six. Correct. Uh, so you cast Burning Hands. That is a saving throw, I believe, right? Uh, dex, yeah. Dex. So they got to make a Dex saving throw. Let's get their stuff back up here. So yeah, roll the damage either way, and I'll roll saves for them to see if they make it. Nine damage. Oh, uh, what is uh nine? Nine. Uh, oh, oh, oh. twenty-one and eighteen. So yeah. they both pass. Uh, so they take four, four damage. We'll round it up, and so that's well, fine. That's nice. Nice. Cause that was shit. That was shit. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's true. <laughs> but, yeah. That's what Ranrock says because he has got bad language. He goes, "Oh, that was shit." Ah, uh, it's your it's your turn, <laughs> there. I'm gonna oh, attack shit. with uh, my sword. Uh, that will be a twenty-five, and I will smite as a second level spell this time because this guy bring in the big game. Yeah, he's not going down like I thought he would. Um, let's see. That is ten. 21 plus 7, 28 damage. Wow, okay. Uh, he is hurting, he, I will say. He should be after that. Um, bonus action, I'm going to... Uh, oh, can I, can I move? There's only one attack. Yeah, I know. Can I move around... Yep, to later All right. Uh, lay on hands is a bonus action, Ooh. my good man, for 10 points of health Ooh. for you so that you're not, you know, imminently dead. I feel better. <laughs> uh, still got one shot left. Yeah. So I'll attack again uh, with a 19. Okay, that will hit. All right, and that will do 12 damage. All right, so will you Jesus, smite him on guy. the first one, and he took a big hit. And now you hit him again, and he's like, it's like low to the ground, and it's like, and it's angry, but you are like, it's still up, but it is hurting real bad. Uh, that a-hole Clyde says, wish you to marry Winter Scratch, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, Flint, it is your turn. Uh, you should. Uh, are you Serpentine? I am Serpentine. All right. Uh, the first thing I'm going to use my action to cast a third level Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. That you can do. Alright, that is 10, 12, for 16 health. Okay. So I'm. Doing better. Two, 39 damage. Uh, and then I'll use my bonus action to try and break the grapple. Okay. Uh, with an 11. Not so much. Struggle. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. All right. So one guy's going. We'll start on this side now. So going for the bite on Theron. All right. Miss. Yeah. Going for a claw on Theron. Nineteen. Going yeah. for a serpentine. No. Miss. Yeah. All right. Going for ramrack. Bite. Miss. Yeah. Claw. Natural one. Yeah. Ah. Serpentine. Natural two. <laughs> All right. All. Attacks have advantage yeah. against <laughs> Flint. Going for the bite. 20. For 9 damage. Okay. And make me a constitution saving throw. We're going to turn it this. Hope not. 5. No. 6. Oh. You're welcome. Good to know. Uh, and that was his bite claw. Natural fucking 20. There it is. On the orange die. Hey, of course on the orange die. Oh. Shit. <laughs> 15 and 2 is 17. And... Thirty-five. I'm uh, unconscious. What's uh, your What's your maximum health? <laughs> okay, <laughs> just checking. Yeah. All right. So it um, it slackens and uh, lets you go, uh, and you are unconscious. It is now Ramrack's turn. Hmm? 
I'm going to turn to the one that's almost dead. Mm -hmm. And take a smack at it. For 18. Ah, oh, that will hit. So you're just hitting it with a stick? Yeah. <laughs> or seven. So you bring it down, and where there was already kind of the wounds on the head, you bring it down, and the kind of the spindly, like, spider legs on it that are a little bit sharp kind of catch in that, and, like, right down into the brain, you kind of see the eyes, which are already kind of, like, a lucid white and kind of almost pupilless, kind of roll back, and it... Mm -hmm falls down and like its legs splay out and it is dead. And I'm gonna take a hit at the other one. Okay. For definitely a hit. And 26. Yeah. There's for some damage. 11. Let's go for 16 damage. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to Burning hands it again. Burning hands it again. Natural 20 on the saving throw. Oh no. Well, that's about a roll. Yeah. Wait, were you, how many key points were you using? Just the normal. Just the normal, just two. the two. So how much is that? Uh, for eight, eight, 13. 13. Yeah, 13 damage. Okay. Got one key point left. Alrighty. So it's up. It is still, it's looking hurt as well. Uh, but it's still up. Um, and the other one that was fighting Flint looks stronger. Yes. It's your turn. All right. Uh, well, if that's the case, I will go ahead and, and 20, 30 over here. Mm -hmm. I could lay on hands you for two because that's, that's all I saved. He goes before they do. Dude, that's beautiful. Bonus action. Lay on hands for oh, the gosh. final two healing. Oh, this is that nice. I have. That was nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to reach up and you can be okay, pal. Oh, yeah. And then you. I'm going to attack twice. Um, and I bet that a uh, 14 is not going to hit. No. No. So I'm going to the highest was 14? Yeah. Wow. It's, it's this yellow one. It's Don't bad luck. I'm one. not going to anymore. It's all bad luck. Uh, well, that was your whole turn. That was my whole turn. I healed you too. Should have just cure wounds to you. Didn't realize that I would miss. <laughs> all right. So well, you're up. Lately. So, Flint, it's your turn. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I heard the call, but it's up to you, man. The The blue guy looks, he looks rough. Uh, the the one that's closest to you though looks like you still got a fair amount of health. Did you use getting bold? Is it gonna hurt us too, the spirit gardens? No, no. spirit gardens don't hurt allies. Cause we're bros. We almost won a whole fight. Got one guy down. <laughs> this whole can he do it? I don't know why you didn't do it from oh, the damn beginning. Cause, cause I keep I you know, keep cause I cause I, I, I made, every battle. Yeah, because I made it a joke really about it. Help this battle. I made a joke about it. And I said, nah, man, we've been like, I told him he liked being a one trick pony. Yeah, and I was like, no, I like doing lots of things. I'm gonna do other things. You know, one trick ponies are one trick ponies for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's mean. You Catch. should use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll keep that. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no. What would Flint do? Flint would pull out his wand. And cast a 7th level magic missile. Yes! Okay. I like that. You should cast it on... Very nice. Well, I'm gonna... What is it? Is it 7th seven, seven level? Or, sorry. I'm gonna, it has 7 total charges. I'm gonna use 6 of them to cast a 6th level magic missile. Okay. So, that is... How many? Is it 3? Three? 3's for regular or 2 for three regular? 3 is regular. 3 is regular, and then... Second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level. That's all I got. And one more. Ted, can I? Yep. May I impose? Mm -hmm. uh, and can I fire them individually? Uh, they all fire. I think they all fire simultaneously. Simultaneously? All right. Then I'm going to use four on each. Okay. <laughs> um, so the one fighting Ran Rack Rag mm -hmm. takes uh, six plus four. That's 10, uh, 13 force damage. You counted the extra plus yes, four, the right? the extra plus four. Uh, motherfucker on an ass thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. On that's an ass thing. On an ass thing. 11 damage. <laughs> Non-specific ass the, uh, thing. <laughs> 11 damage for the one in front of me. Okay. My D4, no, my D4 is this one. This is yours. 
Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, the yellow one's yours. Uh, yours. Ted, thank you. Mm-hmm. So, and then uh, there's a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, mass healing word. What? Level three. What? what? Everyone take five health. I'll take five health. Fucking welcome. Thanks. Oh, that's me, right? I'm one yeah, of the masses. One of the masses. Um, Not those guys, though. All right. Uh, well, the blue guy is going to attack Rimac, who's not serpentined. No. No, not serpentined. No, no, no. Okay. Fight and a miss. Claw. Yeah. And a uh, miss and a serpentine. Uh, Hit. Darn. Don't get knocked out again. Yeah. Well, I'm probably going to. Yeah. Slowly. Nineteen. You will. Damage. Yeah. I'm unconscious. All right, you're unconscious. Uh, and this guy. Hey. I'll st- I will I'll stick with one die for you guys. Nice. Because okay. this one is just a baller. <laughs> it's the best die it's, ever. It's a brutal die. Uh, well, that will be the bite on Theron, and we'll do a claw on Flint. Natural one. The constrict on Theron. And a miss. Ha! Right, Rick. So you're unconscious. Make your death saving throw. What? You made an 11. You should just take the success. It's too late. You did it. It's fine. You, you got a success. Uh, Theron. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. We're, we're fighting this guy right here. We're fighting this guy now. You didn't, even though you still went down, even with the ten. Oh, it was only five. Never mind. It's fine. All right. Uh, good. Um, I don't like leaving him there. That dude is that dude. The blue one looks. It looks rough. It looks bad. Um, not the this one that you're fighting though looks still fairly hardy. Um, well, they have reach, so you can go here, and you're still inside the donut of invulnerability. Sure. Oh, ho. actually, uh, because that actually guy should be over. One, the guy should be over a little bit more. Okay, this guy. Yeah, that guy. Okay. You could actually move one this way, and you're still, and you could hit the thing and still be, in, uh, hmm. in reach. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hit that thing. Okay. With my sword. Yeah. So I've got a twenty-four. That will hit. Right, and I will smite it. Right. This could be it. Uh, as a first level smite. Okay. I'm feeling confident. Roll high. Uh, let's see. I might do it. Fifteen twenty-two. So, sword comes up in an arc and kind of radiant light comes down with it as you kind of bring it around and then as it's up at the upper part do one of these ones and then oh, right yeah. down through the skull pins it sword sinks th- into the ice hilt deep through the skull your hand is actually pressed up against the meat of its brain as you pull yeah. it out and uh it is no longer of this world all right well after that cool back step downward stab i'm gonna come stab the other one with a 21. Okay, that will also hit. All right, and that will do 12 damage. All right, so this guy's dead. 12. Uh, so you kind of bring your sword up out, like that, <coughs> and then as you kind of like turn around, you kind of do one of these oh, backstab cool. and kind of back get it stab. like up in the arm. So it's hurting a little bit, and you pull it out, and I kind of see it's favoring the other leg because that one's hurting. Good. Uh, and we are at Flint. Um, I am going to cast healing word as bonus action uh, on Ryan Rack Rag and say, "Get up, man! I believe in you when you get five up." <laughs> Loving those ones. Uh, and then green flame blade. Okay. Oh, yeah, I feel better. Uh, oh, 16. That hits. All right. And I believe in you, Flint. Uh, that'll be five fire damage and seven not fire damage. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's still hanging in there. Uh, now it's going to go, we're going to do one and one. Start with a bite on Theron. Yeah. This claw on Flint. 20. That's a hit. Nineteen. And I'm down. Oh darn. Maybe we just call D Tuesday D and D yo yo. Knockout. <laughs> and Theron gets a twenty on a serpentine. Oh yeah. Serpentine. 
Double eights again. Snowman. Snowman. Uh, that is 20. Ha! I'm still up. And that's his turn. Ranrak, you are you are up. And so as I get up, I'm going to look over. I'm going to realize. I'm going to see that I'm still fighting it. And I'm going to jump. Uh, and I'm going to come down. Okay. No, that's a 17. 17? That's a 9, that's right. Yeah. Alright, and then 6 plus 8, 13, that's gonna miss, but the 17 will probably 17 will hit. Okay, 4, you got 8 plus 5, 13 damage. Okay. And then for my last key point, I'm going to hit with a stunning strike, which I have no idea what that does. Oh, good! But he's <laughs> gonna do it. I know I can do it. Get it dumped. I know I can do it. He also could use it to do flare your blows and do two attacks again. Do that. Hey, oh, yeah. Those. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Those are D6s now. They're D6s right? now. Uh, Punch with the big boys. Six plus the ten? No. Yeah. Each? Yeah. Uh, it'd be your... Five it, each. Five each. For each. Yeah. Yeah. So, ten, sixteen. Sixteen. This guy is, like, hanging by a thread. Similar to the guy that you had taken down before. He's mm. hurting. He just gets, like... Uh, then uh, Ray Rack drops, just drops the staff, hits it twice, fucking <laughs> right in the face, <laughs> and now it's like it's it's like it, you know if a, if a dragon reptilian creature could have like a black eye, it would have two black eyes and kind of like a big fat lip, but they can't. So that, but the equivalent, if you can imagine that, <laughs> if it could, cartoon wise. All right, so uh, I will attempt to break free from being grappled. Okay. Do I get advantage because he just yes, wrecked it? I also totally forgot to make you guys fall. Uh, when you got oh, we fell. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, <laughs> that is a 16, dude. Great. Yeah. Great. Can I attack too? Uh, that was a bonus action, so yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a bonus action. Uh, an 18. That will hit. All right. And I will use a smite. First level. Okay. Because I want to kill this thing. If you possible. probably don't have to. That's okay. I already did. Um, <laughs> I hope you have some healing left to bring yes, back. Yes, I, I do. I made sure I did. All right. um, I have a potion. That will do. Uh, eight plus five is thirteen. Plus seven is twenty. All right. It had three health. So how do you want to do this? Um, I want to like chop just, it down the you, middle. You just push out of the grapple, mm -hmm. and then you have your sword. So what do you, you want to? Uh, okay. Is it? It's in a coil. It was in a coil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you you managed to kind of just strength your way out of it. Yeah. I want to. Uh, no, I want I want you to describe. It. I want to listen. All right. All right. All right. So you said you wanted to chop it. So I'll, I'll let's see. All right. So you know what? I lied. You are uh, you're trying. You know you're trying to get yourself free from the grapple. It's got you in there pretty tight, but you can feel it's kind of weak because you know you've been just wailing on it. So you managed to kind of get your hand free a little bit and you kind of wiggle your hand out and then you manage to kind of get it in the mouth and then with this the radiant energy kind of heating it up to beyond a normal human level you manage to kind of do stick it in its mouth and you kind of spin your body with it and it nice. spins and you kind of like like a top like but all the way down the body and like Ooh. spiral cut it all the way down to the tail and then when you kind of step out of it you kind of do one of these with your sword, it kind of like Ooh. flops, and now nice. it's like connected by a little piece of tail tissue and two perfectly cleaved in half pieces. Ah. Cure wounds. <laughs> Four. Yay. Nine health. And I have one first level spell slot left. I guess I'll take the potion myself. So. Ow! <sighs> I see why regular people don't go out and about and do things. No! God, can we get off of this ice, please? Yeah. Okay, so you guys walk across the ice safely, beaten and, and hurt, and you make it into the cave, and you can see that the cave, um, there's like ways to get out of the cave, but from where you are, it seems fairly safe, and you also come across a clutch of eggs. 
huh. similar in color to what you just repeated. How do you guys feel about having some breakfast? Mmm. I'm okay with that, personally. Yeah? Oh, breakfast sounds great. Breakfast? Breakfast? I'm just gonna look at How big are these eggs? Like... Oops, I don't know what to do. They're like... Yay big. Yay big. That's a big egg. How many eggs are there? Five eggs. Five eggs. Bunch of five eggs. I'm just gonna... I have an idea for this one. I'm just gonna go up to him, rub my... Fiery my hands, hands together and just slowly start to radiant damage a little bit and the radiant damage <laughs> shoots out just enough to start heating them. Oh, and you hear them boiling on the inside. Soft nice, boiled nice eggs. Soft boiled. Give it like six or seven minutes. Of... Yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to cut that early. No. no. no maybe ten. That's a good call. So yeah, you guys recognize that you can probably get out of this cave to continue up the mountain. Um, that you'll be safe to rest Let's here. take a... Uh, you guys can take a long rest. 60 minutes? I would say more like... An hour? Uh, no, I was going to say more like eight. eight. You guys can take an, a long rest and you'll be safe and protected yeah. from the elements and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm in for an eight hour rest. Yeah. I mean, it looks safe here, you know? I get, yeah. Like so, we're protected from the elements. Yeah. So that's fine. We're probably going to end up wrapping up the session in just a second anyway after this. And we'll... The break. triple D. And we'll talk about multi-class. Oh, I'm excited! But at the end of your long rest, yeah, uh, I need you both to. Uh... Oh shit! Um, so you guys kind of take a break and you're kind of breaking down, getting eating your eggs, and after about an hour, you just like. You guys just feel exhausted. Oh, no. Like, really exhausted. I'm like really exhausted. I always feel this exhausted. Come oh, on, man. So I get out of work. Come on, guys. I'm just too tired. Man. Uh, so I just then tired. you guys take a long rest, uh, and I need you both to make me constitution saving throws. Eight. Nine. <laughs> You guys feel really exhausted. Oh no. Uh, How exhausted do they feel? Uh, this is a rest in the I didn't feel I mean you guys get your hit points back. Yeah. Yeah, but, but uh I still don't feel as good as I You have feel them. like if you were able if you decide to go on and continue on your quest, that it's probably gonna take you guys twice as long to get anywhere as if your movement speed had been halved. How do you have twenty five? In five increments. Uh, <laughs> round down. Round down for that one. Fifteen. So, so ten. Ten. Yeah, ten. Oh, man. Uh, and oh. you also feel like you also would have disability on uh, every ability check that you make. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Theron, I don't feel like adventuring today. Mm. At all today? At all today. It's not looking like it's in my wheelhouse. Yeah. You guys serious? I mean, all right, fine. If you guys don't feel good, then I, I think it's important that it's you can rest. Gonna... No, no, not uh, gonna do it. So, you guys also, we're gonna we're gonna take the break, coffee, <coughs> snacks, whatever. Come back for triple D. Uh, we're gonna be talking about multi-class, and we're also gonna do a review of these monsters that they just fought. These, um, these guys were bastards. You guys Smart. each get eighteen hundred experience. Oh, <laughs> I like them a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're at different experiences now. Oh, right, and I forgot. Um, what does my hair shirt do? I will get to that in just a sec. Okay. Uh, Ranrak, you're going to add an extra 150 to that. What did he do? Um, he just was being... Uh, Ranrak? Yeah, he was, you know, not wanting to do work. Oh, Went to take... Around 20,300? I have 20,800. Went to, okay. you know, offered to take the cart so he didn't have to walk... Things like that. Uh, nice. Flint, you're going to add an extra 300. Ooh! Thank you. And you, sir, are going to add an extra 450. 450? All right. What is your guys' XP total? Then? I am at 21... Uh, 290. I'm at 2690. 17 to 25. 2300 is level 7, just okay. so you know. Yes. Cool. Um, Clyde, I'll get you your experience uh, next 
time Ooh. as well. You would, if you ever, if you ever actually give me information about any of your character one. stuff, <laughs> give me that, and then I will make up something that you could do to get some sort of equivalent experience. So you're not so far behind, but you actually gotta freaking do it. Dropping a hammer. Or the pencil in this instance. Here, there's a tiny hammer you can drop. See this? This is a tiny hammer. <laughs> drop it's been hammer. dropped. Um, all right. So anyway, guys, we'll be back to discuss the Lindworm uh, from the Tome of Beasts, as well as multiclassing. So we'll catch you all in um, just a sec. Uh, go get some coffee, guys, and we'll be we'll be back. Okay.